Good evening and welcome to YLG Sports Park here in beautiful Nanjing, China for the final day of Group F action here at the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2019. My name is Ryan Greco on your play-by-play -play, joined by Mr. FIBA himself, Mark Mills on your color. And Mark, I don't think you would have thought battle for survival when you mark this game on your calendar, but that is exactly what this has become for both teams here tonight. And this is the basketball we love. Winner takes all, there's nothing else about it. There's no wrinkles about points difference or anything like that. It's a flat out, you win the game, you go through, you lose it, you're into classification games. Just perfect picture is set for us here tonight. Taking a quick look right now, of course, the Tall Blacks out of New Zealand looking to punch their ticket to the next round as we see excitement, energy, all sorts of things. This is a dangerous, dangerous team, Mark, with nothing to lose. And that's the key. They have nothing to lose. They've been the underdogs pretty much in every game that they've played, and they love it. If you want another underdog stat for you, they've only won four out of their last 16 Euro team games in the World Cup. So every time they face a European team, they're massive outsiders. Do you think that bothers these guys? Not one bit. If anything, they love it. Absolutely. And you can see them getting hype in the warm-ups. A couple of self alley dunks uh, entertaining the Chinese fans here in attendance. And of course, as you saw earlier, the, uh, the loud and proud uh, Tall Blacks faithful are there in support. As uh, we also uh, get ourselves ready, though, they've got a tall task in what was considered one of the major, major favorites going into this competition, Greece. Yeah, and, and rightfully so. You look at the talent, you know, obviously everyone's looking at Giannis Antetokounmpo, but 1 through 12, there is huge talent and huge experience in this Greek squad, you know, and it shows. They only ran a nine-man rotation against Brazil in that loss, and they were a little bit shell-shocked from that, and that might be the chink in the armor that uh, New Zealand need to go after. I think the number one question everyone can ask going into this game, can Giannis and Tedekumpo stay out of foul trouble, having a bunch of issues there in that first half, and inevitably fouling out of that uh, huge game against Brazil? Yeah, he's not had it his own way at all, and uh, we, we spoke before the game started, and I said to you, he's got a different face on today. They also took a lot longer coming out to warm up. I think he's ready to go. It's going to be, as you can see, the, uh, the Greek fans in attendance. They're excited for what's about to happen. Taking a look here at a schedule earlier today. Brazil moving on 3-0 with a win over Montenegro. As we get a quick look at the table as well. Brazil, of course, as we said, 3-0, six points. Winner of this game, simply put, is going to be moving on to the next round. get a chance here as uh, both teams are pulling out their flags now. A lot of the fans getting themselves ready to stand up as uh, we will get an opportunity to pause for the National Anthem. Greece,
now brings us as uh, both teams exchanging gifts and pleasantries before this matchup. Brings us to maybe my favorite part of the entire game as we take a quick look at our referees. Jorge Vasquez, Leandro Nicolas Lescano, and M. Tae Juan are going to be your referees for this matchup. Mark, it's time for my favorite part of this whole World Cup. The Haka. Absolutely wonderful. There is nothing better than a hacker to set the scene for an international game of basketball. Love it, love it. And uh, I, for some of us, uh, for some of the people at home that may not necessarily know the story, may not have heard the story you told briefly uh, in that first game, uh, maybe you can enlighten them a little bit about that one. Yeah, it's just great. We're, about 13 years ago, the uh, the Tall Blacks decided they wanted to break away from the traditional hacker that the rugby team do, so they created their own, um, and they call it uh, Tukaha, which equals stand, stand strong. And it's all about basically how they're much stronger together than they would be on their own. And, and it's great because it fully epitomizes how they approach a game of basketball. I have never seen more of a team ethic in international basketball than New Zealand. Absolutely, as you just got an opportunity to see the starting lineup there. Of course, this is going to be a guy that is going to be a huge factor in this game with the size of Reese in the front court. That, of course, is Isaac for two. Yeah, Isaac Futu is, uh, you know, he's had some big games. Game one, 17.5 boards. Game two, 20.7 rebounds. And he just puts absolutely everything onto the hardwood for his teammates. Absolutely. As we take a look here quickly at uh, Greece's starting lineup, we have Kalathis, Papa Nicolaou, Papa Petro, of course, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Princesses. Very formidable starting lineup here for Greece. Yeah, absolutely storied. So many international caps, so much experience along the world, top, top leagues. And uh, yeah, it's scary for everyone to look at. And that man, he really led the way in what was a disappointing night in the end for the Greeks against Brazil, but uh, averaging 18 points a game, 86% from outside is unbelievable for what is effectively a power forward, in essence, to be able to do that. And uh, I think they're going to need a big game from him tonight to come away with a win. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. So we got to take a look. It's almost a near capacity crowd here in Nanjing. Yeah, the World Cup has been embraced fully by this city. Every evening, they've turned out in their thousands to come and watch these games. Uh, I can the five and hit that long. Joanne up the Robbie. All right. Tommy, you're coming up. Bang, Ike, you're in this one here. Give me this triple hand up with Corey. All right, Bang, coming up that one. I think that was Swing Gary without me. Out, so you have this pass in attack. Weak back and tap, you understand that it plays, okay? After that, corner side. Oh, yeah, corner. Now you start from Gary's side. He goes, back up, or one, one situation. Where we have the one, one. Taking a look at both coaching staffs there, both head coaches, no strangers to the international game. No, absolutely not. You know, they've got a huge amount of experience from very different places, though. You know, Paul Hanare, obviously an awful lot of down-under experience in New Zealand. Um, he's been the head coach of the, the senior men's team since 2015. Also a huge amount of experience as a player. Whereas you look at Scortopolis, uh, he played nine years for AK Athens. He's been part of the assistant coaching staff for Greece, and now he's made that step up to be head coach. Very different styles, but very, very effective in their own right. Absolutely, and I think uh, it's the number one thing to keep in mind here. Lo winner goes on, loser effectively out of the tournament. Yeah, that, yeah, loser has the classification to play for. Still huge amount to play for because you've got the chance of qualifying for the Olympics at stake. But still, everyone wants to stay in this party. No one wants to leave early from this one.
And here we go. Greece wins the tip off, and it's going to be Nick Kalathis that's going to begin the offensive set for Greece. Gets it right over to Manzaras, who gets it inside. Grabs his own rebound. And there's going to be a foul called on Tom Abercrombie. Not the way he was hoping to start this game. I think he might have been called on uh, Futu, actually. Let's have a look. They've called a push on him. Yeah, he's on the back of him. That's what they've called him for. The strip was actually clean if he hadn't come across. I think uh, Abercrombie would have got the clean steal. Even a tougher foul in that case, considering Futu, how, how important he's been for this New Zealand squad throughout the uh, opening round. Papa Nicolau, good for uh, his first, already on the stat sheet with a rebound and a point. Yeah, it's a good start for him, and he's one of these players that's got, you know, a bit of NBA experience, a huge amount of European experience, and willing to do everything his team needs him to do, and they're going to need that tonight. Costas Papa Nicolau at the line, knocks down both. 2 0 lead for Greece in the early going. And here comes Ty Webster, along with his brother Corey Webster, have been offensive juggernauts for this New Zealand squad. Off to his brother, Corey. Here's Ty. There's a work inside now for two. Hook shot. Kareem-esque. Elijah one-esque. Whatever you want to call it, he's got it right now. And he's had a phenomenal tournament so far, and he won't want it to come to an end because he's certainly playing at the top of his game at the moment. Here's Kalathis. Works off the screen from Giannis. Going to try and go up himself, but they're going to call a foul there as he went in. And it seems in the early going, the physicality of New Zealand seems to be working just a little bit against them. Yeah, a little bit too much, and that's going to be, I think, is that for two second foul? Oh, no, that one's called on Webster. He's, uh, uh, good call, yeah. He's clearly on his wrist, he got, he hacked Kalathis going in. No look pass inside, but unfortunately not even, uh, not even Papa Petro saw it. But gets it back, nine seconds on the shot clock, still an option. In the corner, Kalathis, three seconds. He's got to put it up. Oh, gets it off in time. And Giannis is under the basket and fighting for it is Tom Abercrombie. And the bench is loving that one. Here comes Abercrombie on the other end. Just can't get it to drop. A tough tournament for him so far. And that came down to purely Abercrombie wanting it more. Giannis up and in. Giannis and Tedekupo with the response. And you see what that means to him. He's had a tough week so far. It's not gone his way. But Whoa. that dunk means everything to him. He's going to take his frustrations out on that ring tonight. Inside, Princesses. What a nifty finish with the left hand, and what a pass. And Greece already starting to get their rhythm, starting to get their form, and the crowd are loving it. Webster, floater, up, in. Corey Webster. Could you expect anything less at this point from him? No, absolutely not. Averaging 22 points a game. He's uh, been on fire so far. Second in the tournament for points per game. Here we are, Kalathis to Giannis. And Tedekumpo's gonna let it fly, for two comes in, knocks it down! Giannis and Tedekumpo, I what a start! You, I told you, his face was different, his mentality was different today. Look at the almost growl on his face. Low, loses a hand on it, coughs it up, and here comes Greece. Kalathis gets it. Oh, oh! To Giannis and Tedekumpo! Are you kidding me? Play. Oh, and Tedekumpo got game, that's for sure. He is up for tonight's game. Look at that thunder jam. And the crowd are loving it. The noise is the loudest it's been this week. Timeout New Zealand. Let's see if Coach Paul Inari can come up with something. Seven forty-two. Seven forty-two is the time. Seven forty-two. Yes. Just a reminder about how important our wall is. Right? 
Take a breath right now. Everyone good? Yep, yep. Get back to what we know. It's the one shot dub head right now that we live with, it's, it's, it's a three ball. All right, everything else has been downhill. Build a wall, have each other's back, all right? Lift up our physicality a notch right now. We're good? Come on, boys, go. And uh, Antetokounmpo has it, had exactly the start to the game that he all wanted. A tough first two games, but he's put both those to bed. That was the first of his jams, and you saw the, almost a release as he did it of all that frustration that he's felt over this week. And he uh, has a very different look on his face. He he's wants came, to come and dominate. He's came focused. Look at that growl. He's ready to go right now, and you can see that spin move he had on Webster. Not many other people in the in the world can can maintain possession of the ball with a spin like that. And then, of course, the dunk out of nowhere from the dotted line out of uh, just he's the only person in the planet that can make that move. There's Webster for three. Corey Webster. And this is exactly what Coach Inare was talking about. He's saying, don't get caught up in the hype of all these dunks and the crowd. He said, as long as we get our points back, then it's fine. We just have to work harder on transition defense. I'm saying this right now. Corey Webster might be playing his way into a 10-day contract at some point later on this season. He's certainly looking good, that's for sure. Here's Princesses. Off the behind the back, up, in. Can't get the kind roll, and it's going to go out of bounds. And low did just enough to box out his opponent, and it's going to be... New Zealand ball. Just enough that as soon as Coach Paul Inari said we need to step up our physicality, there's Rob Lowe answering the call. And straight away, and every single player will do the same for him. That's not something New Zealand are going to lack, physicality. Sorry. Inside for two. Kicks it back out. Abercrombie now with it. In the corner. Inside for two. Gets the mismatch up and in. Oh, what a nice little scoop up and under there. A wonderful play by Futu. He's, he's, he's trying to match what Antetokounmpo is doing for Greece. He knows he's not going to be as high flying, but he's not going to be outdone for effort. It's going to be an off-ball foul on the ground. And that's another one on Fatou, I believe. That's his second personal. That is not the start he wanted. Offensively, it's been great, but just these little off-ball fouls. You want to save those kind of fouls for when you actually, when Giannis actually has the ball as he now takes the seat. Because the issue you have is who has the ability and the physicality to guard Anton Kumpo. They've now put the young man Finn Delaney, he's only 24 years old, he's massively undersized against Anton Kumpo. Corner look, good close out there by Delaney. Good defense by New Zealand and it's going to get the possession for their efforts. Yeah, and, and then and this is going to be the key. Whether they can keep this intensity on the defensive end up for 40 minutes. One, have they got the fouls to give? Can they keep personnel into the game? And two, do they have the energy? You know, this is game three of three, three games in like six days. That's starting to take its toll on some of these players. Corey Webster for three. Again, Corey Webster. He has been lights out all week. It's literally like he zoned in the second he stepped on the hardwood about a week ago. Greece needs to find a way to chase him away from the top of the key because that is his shot. That's been his shot all week. Here's Princesses. Another foul on the inside. And it, that's the third consecutive set there where somebody in the post has been fouled by a New Zealand defender. There it is. How else do you stop him? If you're Finn Delaney, how do you stop Tessa Kumpo? You're giving up 10 centimeters on your man. And I'd hate to think how many kilograms you're giving up on him as well. You gotta thrive on it though. You may, amazing to think they're the same age. Yeah, yeah, it is crazy. Here's the inbound for Greece. Kalathis off the screen. Picks it out. Open look. No good. Kalathis coming down with it though. Low didn't box him out. 10 seconds on the shot clock, Princesses. Shea Illy outmatched, but stays with him. Another fine, Kalathis for three. No good. And New Zealand, after that thunderous opening from Greece, are now in the lead and almost, dare I say, in the driver's seat right now. Yeah, they are. They, they've got issues defensively. What I'm liking that Paul Hanare has done, he said, stay true, don't switch on the defensive end. Fight over screens, battle through them. That's going to be important. It's when they switch, they'll have problems. Cut inside, and there's going to be a foul on the ground. And unfortunately, Tom Abercrombie, he just can't buy a bucket this time. No, it's, it's not gone his way on Even the Even when it goes his way. <laughs> Yeah, only four and a half points per game. He averaged over 13 points per game in the qualifiers. 
But the good thing you've got is he's he's mature enough. He understands that there's other things that he can contribute to the team, and he has been. Here's Illy. Webster. Delaney. Delaney's going to try the shot. Tough shot for him, especially going against the strong side. Giannis, fast break. Nope, he's going to reset it now with Delaney on him. Kicks it out. Here's Giannis. Kicks it off into the corner. One more time, Princesses for three, wide open. Just rims out. Only his second miss from behind the arc, all tournament. <laughs> That's a crazy stat, but Princesses says that. Yeah, he's found his form shooting wise here i love the pass out from papa nicolau though drove inside as the new zealand defense was breaking down so it collapsed on him and straight away heads up play finds the corner triple from pintessis and he's unlucky for it not to drop and uh new zealand already in the penalty with greece just two team fouls i don't think that's overly going to be a concern don't get me wrong it is a bit of a problem as greece are the best free throw shooting team in the world cup at the moment 89.5 percent from the line that's you know that's impressive another foul i believe it's on papa nicolau no i think there's something going on with his uh, uniform or a blood situation yeah i think he's bleeding from somewhere and they're going to need a substitution and into the game is uh, number 10 costas lucas I believe that's his uh, first uh, appearance in the game right now. Yeah, it is, and what a game he had off the bench in game day two against Brazil. First player since the 2010 World Cup to register 10 assists coming off the bench. Phenomenal. Webster, Illy, drives by. Gonna try and go up and in himself. High off the glass, Shay Illy going right at the MVP. And that shows the New Zealand mentality. They do not care who you are. They are going to go at you full pace. Giannis with Delaney on him. It's Lucas. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Still plenty of time. No look pass. Princesses kicks it out. Kalathis going to go in himself. And they're going to say it's a foul, I believe, on Illy. Look at this. Just up and in, fearless. Someone's been watching the tape. But that's absolutely wonderful. He's perfect control. He's got body control. He's drawn enough contact to just leverage Antetokounmpo out of the way. And then the beautiful soft arc on the shot. And I'll, I'll say this right now. Coach Thanasis uh, Skortopoulos, you can be frustrated, but I mean, Giannis, to his credit, did everything he could have done there. That's perfect defense. That's yeah. perfect defense. Just sometimes someone manages to pull off a great shot, you know? You don't ask any more defensively than that. Kalathis from the line now. Particularly for Antetokounmpo, both free throws. who's had foul trouble. Illy loves to run. Abercrombie for three. No good. Tough shot there. But New Zealand, that's their style. They love to run and gun. Antetokounmpo now with it. Kicks it off. Giannis gets it back. Tries to cross over. Back out one more time. Shot goes up. Knocks it down. Nothing but net. Giannis, Papa Petro. And that's a heads up play. You know, Giannis Antetokounmpo knows that the whole of the paint is going to collapse defensively. Webster again. Even when he misses, it almost it looks beautiful. It's Lucas inside, Giannis up and in, the foul. And Giannis Antetokounmpo going to the line for Greece. Yeah, Smith-Milner just a split second too late. I can see what he was trying to do. He was trying to get himself planted. He, he got his feet outside the restricted area as well, which is impressive to do, but he was still moving sideways as Antetokounmpo plows into him. You can see. I, I, I have to say, though, it really looks like New Zealand are really embracing this moment. Yeah, fully. They're, they're, you know, New Zealand as a culture within all the sports that they play, they love the big challenges. They'd rather play tough games every day than have the easy ones. I, I've counted about three separate players with big smiles on their faces as they were lining up for the free throws. And they are just absolutely loving this. They know that this could be a once-in-a-lifetime game for themselves. Win this, and they go through to the second round of the World Cup. Giannis is good. Gives Greece the lead again. 15-14, 3.24 to go here in the first quarter. As we take a quick look there at Abercrombie and Webster, we're going to need some big games from them if you're New Zealand. 
the MVP, NBA's most valuable player, the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo, makes good on the second free throw. Yeah, he's up to nine points with six and a half minutes into the game. He's only averaging 11 and a half points a game across the first two, so you can see he's in a very different place today. Here's Illy, Russ Batch. Russ Batch kicks it out, Delaney, he's gonna let it fly. That's a tough shot there, great closeout. By the uh, by the Greek defense, and here's a fast break. Slukas into Giannis, kicks it back out. Papa Petro for three. Doesn't get the kind roll. Great box out there by Smith Milner. Yeah, boxing two players out. There's a steal. Giannis up and in, finds it inside, and they're gonna call the foul. And Smith Milner just putting his hands up, going, I can't do anything else. I couldn't even get out of the way in time. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough, and it's a great steal by Giannis Antetokounmpo, and he's just put his head down and gone for it, and. It's, it is what it is on the defensive end. You're not going to give up a dunk, that's for sure. So yes. you're going to end up fouling him, you know. And the issue for New Zealand is not the fouls, it's managing them across their rotations. Yes. That's going to be the key, making sure that the people giving up the fouls are being rotated constantly. As uh, Giannis now getting another uh, opportunity to go to the line. He's in, in seven minutes, nine points. Make it 10. Three-point lead now for Greece. But if you're New Zealand, 251 to go in the first, especially after that start, you've got to be pretty comfortable with where you're at. The other thing you've got to be looking at as well is the way that the Greeks played against Montenegro. You probably would have expected a similar sort of treatment. Bear in mind that the Greeks kept Montenegro to 16 points in the entire first half. And New Zealand were almost at that within seven minutes. Billy brings it up. Webster for three. Banks it! Yes, the bank is open and Ty Webster's got game. Wow, I didn't hear the shout of bank from him, so uh, I'm presuming that's just a bit of luck going his way, but if you're New Zealand in a game like this, you'll take all the luck you can get. Galathis, oh, no look inside to Thanasis and Tedekumpo, shot goes up, nothing but net. That's once again Giannis Papapetro. Wonderful play by Thanasis there, so unselfish. You know, he was under the basket, could have probably just taken a little drop step and thrown it down, but he's seen Papa Petra open and, uh, yeah, set his man up for another three. Look at this, wonderful, just such unselfish play. I'm loving the little ball fake at first to get the defense to shift in the wrong direction. As you can see, by the time Rustpatch had uh, responded, there, there was no way he was getting there. There was no chance he was going to be able to cover that shot. So, yeah, great play by Fanasis and Kumpo. As uh, Giannis takes his first rest, and I think he's uh, so far delivered for the uh, for this Greek team and also for the uh, the fans here in Nanjing. Oh yeah, if you've got tickets to this game, this is your best by far. Fast break opportunity, Kalathis not taking any chances. Finishes the layup on a poor uh, set there by New Zealand. And New Zealand need to be careful now. We're at six points. If it opens up much more, they're going to struggle to fight back in again. Kalathis up and in. The older brother showing he can get it done as well. Illy in the corner, low. Oh, nice ball fake there. Just can't get it to drop, and Kalathis with another rebound. Rob Lowe trying to make up. And this time, Illy sees it, and Lowe gets it over Webster. Smart play by Ty Webster, just slowing it down, taking some of the energy out of the game. Inside, low, up, in, packed hard. But you gotta love that if you're if you're New Zealand. You want to see that competitive fire all the way through. That's great. That's a great for both sides. That's great. Thanasis handed the compo. He's done the right thing. He's gone up. He's fouled hard. Um, as we see Kalathis with the steal and the easy layup in transition. New Zealand can't afford those mistakes too often because Greece will punish you absolutely every time. Unfortunately, Rob Lowe, the uh, couple of uh, rough possessions there for him, but. Uh, you know, to his credit, when we saw that uh, that first uh, replay at the very beginning, he knew the Nassus was coming in hard, and if he had kept it to that left side, he would have gotten stuffed, but had the wherewithal in midair to switch over and try and go to the right, and as a result, gets hacked hard. And uh, we also got some substitutions for Greece. Rob Lowe gets his own rebound. Rusbatch step back. No good, but Lowe comes down with it, and they're going to call... A foul on uh, Ionis Barusis, who's checked into the game for Greece. And uh, also into the game is number five, Yanoulis Larenzakis. 
And these might be some of the key moments in the game for New Zealand as well. How do they capitalise when Giannis Antetokounmpo is out of the game and getting rest? Because he's going to have to. He won't want to play more than 25 minutes in a first round game. Toughness there for Rob Lowe. This is really surprising. Lowe shot 83% from the free throw line prior to today's game. And that's 0 from 3. And of course, you know, 125 to go here in the first. You need these points when the clock's not running. This is another one. This is just not his game right now. This this is a first quarter for him to forget. And that kind of form is contagious in your own mind. You'll start doubting yourself every three throw that goes by that you don't score. They can't afford that from him. They need him. It's Lucas. Oh, nice find inside. But once again, that defense, Shea Illy, He's done a great job reading these passes that are coming in from Kalathis and from the other guards in Greece. It's a really interesting setup here, having Shea Illy on the baseline. Obviously, you're thinking, oh, he's going to be undersized, he's going to struggle. But the quick hands and the quick feet make up for that. He can intercept and he can get in passing lanes. Plus, I don't think he feels pain. <laughs> no, I think he's probably bionic. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Webster. Oh, nice steal there by Barassis, but Lowe comes up with it, and Webster all the way up and in, and the crowd get behind this New Zealand Tall Blacks. Well, I think they're appreciating the amount of hustle and effort that these guys are putting onto the floor in this first quarter. Kalathis now, guarded by Webster. This could be a key matchup for Greece. It's Lucas. Barossis. Laranzakis. Thanasis up in, can't finish. Gets his own rebound, however. Kicks it out to Kalathis. Lucas thinks about it. He's got low on him. Shoots it. Knocks it down, Lucas. There was only ever one thing going to happen in that play. Lucas had no intention of trying to get into the paint. He was just going to try and create enough distance, enough space for him to get that three away. Got a full court press now on for Greece. They're going to see if they can try and pressure New Zealand. Eight seconds remaining in the quarter. We'll see what they come up with here. Illy loses it again. One second. Lorenzakis! No! And breathe. <laughs> Unbelievable first quarter. Wonderful. Incredible. Greece, 28. New Zealand, 19. quarters of basketball don't get much more exciting than that nine point lead for Greece probably quite flattering to a certain degree New Zealand have worked exceptionally hard to fight and literally fight their way back into this game one issue they do have there is that with that man there Fotu he has two fouls and he's obviously a bit of an inspirational leader for the tall blacks they want to see him back in the game but the highlight reel Giannis Antetokounmpo is not disappointed. He's taken his frustrations out from the first two games in his first quarter. You can see his big, his big brother, Thanasis. He's been one of the most animated players on any bench for any team here in Nanjing. He completely encapsulates what playing for your country means. You know, we watch the lineup for the national anthems, and Thanasis is properly singing the national anthem and behind him Giannis had his eyes closed and was singing along as well it means so much for these guys if they were to take Greece to a podium finish here in China it would be one of the highlights of their careers as you can see there Greece big reason that they have this nine point lead taking advantage of New Zealand mistakes and for you know for all of New Zealand's effort and, and, and time that they've had a chance you know to really hang with Greece in this one it's really been themselves that they've been beating surprisingly yeah five turnovers in the first quarter most coaches will not want to get to double digits for the entire game it's looking like New Zealand might be there by half time they need to respect the ball they need to treasure that possession more than they have so far as you can see, Thanasis is starting off this third quarter, but always be sure to check out the official World Cup app. Available stats, live games. It's been the way that I've kept up to date with everything moving forward, and you can find it on the App Store or on Google Play. Back to the action now, Ty Webster. Getting the start over in Slukas, the Webster brothers, back together again, and Corey Webster, I mean, he's been unconscious. Looking for an option, kicks it out. Kicks it over, Webster for three, just misses, but Pleasure coming down with it. Webster, 
and work off the screen. Eight seconds on the shot clock to his brother Ty. Ty gets it inside. Pledger, huge rejection by Thanasis and Tedekumpo. Wonderful play, wonderful read. The anticipation by Antetokounmpo to get up and just slap it off the glass. It's Lucas. Costas Lucas gets it over. This is Yanoulis. Lorenzakis. Bruce is now in the post. See if he can get going. Oh, opportunity here by Webster. He's off and running. Up and in. And finishes Corey Webster. Yeah, he's up to double digits now. That's him on 10 points. And you have a feeling he's in for another big nine. 3 0 run. Excuse me, 2 0 run for New Zealand. Bruce's wide open three. You do not want to give that to him if you're Alex Pledger. It's a, it is a tough assignment for Pledger. He's not comfortable coming that far away from the basket, but Barusis will make you pay if you don't front him on the three. Webster, he's going to let it fly. No good. Great closeout by Thanasis, just getting there in time. And it's always about that peripheral vision. It's a tougher shot for shooters when they have a guy closing in from the angle. Here comes Greece. Slukas. What a shot. That's absolutely beautiful. It really is. It was almost like a, a dance that he was doing, just jigging to get enough space to get the release away. Make no mistake, New Zealand is getting Greece's best shot right now in this second quarter. Here's Ty Webster to Alex Pledger. Corey Webster now with Barusas on him. We'll see if he takes him on. Oh, loses him. Shot goes up. Can't get the kind roll. Just out of bounds. <laughs> Corey Webster putting Barusis on ice skates. Yeah, I think Barusis' uh, advanced years showed on that play. As, oh, look at Abercrombie trying to go through and finish the putback, but he's worked hard enough to keep his team possession. But yeah, Barusis, he is uh, very much like Pledger in the last play. That's the last place he wants to be. He does yeah. not want to be facing Corey Webster on the perimeter. Back into the game, of course, is the big man, Isaac Fatu. Here's Ty. It's Lucas on him. Ty finds it inside for two right away, goes in. Look at that. He wants to get involved right away. And he's done it for the whole group stage. He really has. He's imposed himself beautifully on the game for New Zealand and, and made a big impact. It's Lucas goes up and throws it down. The Nassus and Tedakumpo. So in little brother, he can do it too. Absolutely he can. The ups that man's got is unbelievable. Oh, nearly a stop there, but Webster still with it. The Nassus all over him. Ty gets inside for two, flings it over. Out of Crombie for three. Big shot for him and an even bigger shot for the Tall Blacks. And this is what it comes down to. Winner goes through, loser is out. And that's why we've got this game in front of us. So much motivation, so much at stake for these teams. Lorenzakis, Rusis wants it. Works around off the screen, Lucas. Gonna try and find a man inside, but there was no one there in the corner for him. Ran out of daylight, and New Zealand, with seven seconds on the shot clock, a chance here. Oh, look at this. Just beautiful. Wonderful timing. And again, this is how Slukas got to 10 assists in uh, game day two. You know, those kind of passes, just per to perfection. It makes it a lot easier when you've got a guy who can jump out of the gym. Don't get me wrong, but still, wonderful pass. Recently signed with the Milwaukee Bucks, the Nassus and Tedekumpo. Up and under. Right on cue. That's why he's going to the NBA this year. Absolutely wonderful. We're really showing a, a range of ability now. Here's Lowe. Abercrombie. Abercrombie puts it right up. No good. Tough shot for him. Yeah, he's still trying to find his rhythm, trying to find some kind of momentum in the game. He's, he's had a tough first two games and hitting that three, I'm sure he was hoping that it would start things rolling. Here's Lucas with Ty Webster guarding him. Bruce is once again wide open, but a great closeout this time by Lowe. Keeps running the floor, up, in, textbook finish there by Rob Lowe, and that is New Zealand basketball at its finest. It, yeah, it is, and Bruce has fell asleep, and he knew that split second was just enough to let Rowe, Lowe go away, and Bruce needs to stay awake. He needs to make sure he's a, an effort in transition defense. Lucas nearly got away with a carry there, finds it inside. Oh, behind the pack by Thanasis. Papa Nicolau for three, no good. And for two with a big rebound for New Zealand. Webster tries to go behind the back, gets it to Fatu. This is Corey Webster now. Fatu 
Looking around. Webster. Oh, a nice jump up. And big shot for New Zealand. Corey Webster, ladies and gentlemen. He's got game. Hey, you talked about a 10-day contract. There's going to be teams in Europe looking at Corey Webster. They're going to be taking several looks at him now. He is increasing his contract value with every basket he makes here at the World Cup. And a big-time uh, bucket there, as you can see here on the fast-break opportunity. Rob Lowe, as soon as he challenged the shot, kept on running, understood his, his team's mentality. And then Webster, look at that. Gets the uh, Milwaukee Buck off his feet. And even you can see Thanasis new. Yeah, and the great play there from Lowe, it's having the IQ. When do I cheat on defense and when do I stay true? Perfect time to cheat on defense. Yeah, and Slukas once again is instrumental in everything that he does for Greece. Pulling up for the three. Look at his heads up play as well. He plays the whole game with his eyes up. He's looking at the basket. He's looking at all four of his teammates and what they're up to. And you can almost uh, see the supercomputer in his brain doing the calculations. Is it best for me to shoot? Have I got an option on the pass? Who's going to get the highest percentage shot? Absolute mastermind of the game. He's got, he's filled up every stat on the sheet here except personal fouls. <laughs> As uh, Giannis back into the game now. Lauren Zakis to Slukas. Slukas. Eight seconds, finds it out. Great ball movement there from the Greeks. What a shot. What a shot. And this is this is a big problem for New Zealand, because the five that Greece are running at the moment can play five out. And New Zealand can't play a, a rotation that can play five out if they want to defend Giannis Antetokounmpo in the post. And that's their quandary. What do they do? Do they try and guard the perimeter and give up the interior? Probably not. They'll give up those long shots. I think I have it figured out, Mark. They survive. <laughs> Just try and survive, but for two. He lost third his personal patience. foul. He lost his patience. His mind just went there. Watch this. I don't know what he's done that for. That's, that's the kind of mistake you'd expect from a young player, someone with not a huge amount of experience. Don't get me wrong, Futu's only 25, but he has a huge amount of experience, and, you know, you thought he'd be more level-headed than that. Emotions running high for New Zealand as this could be one of the biggest games for a lot of these players' lives up until this point. Giannis now on the inside with Delaney all over him. Good job isolating them, though. Nice find inside, and that's it right there, number 15, the Yorgos Princesses crashing in, and there's going to be a foul on Papa Nicolau. Uh, that's a smart foul. He's broken the transition. He's broken the, you know, the forward momentum for New Zealand. But the issue New Zealand have on that double team now is that that's all Antetokounmpo is waiting for. He's waiting for the double team, as we see Papa Nicolau with the obvious foul. But he's waiting for that double team in the low block. As soon as it comes across, there's so much space for the shooters to get the shots away. Timeout, New Zealand. Let's take a look at what Coach Paul Inare has got drawn up for his team. particularly Coach Inare, how much would that be a feather in his cap if he was able to mastermind a New Zealand win over Greece? Not just any old time, 
but in a do or die game in the World Cup. Absolutely huge for him as a head coach. New Zealand hanging in there in this second quarter. Greece have only outscored them 14 12. And really, I think if you're New Zealand, that's all you really want by the end of this quarter is to still be in this game. Single digits, I think, would be most preferred. <laughs> yeah, I think if they can be around where they are now, they're not going to be too upset. See if they can come out and have a big third quarter. There's Shea Illy. Check back into the game. Webster now, nine seconds on the shot clock. Webster trying to create space, can't get it. Finally gets the call. And uh, Costa Lucas calmly says, yep, that's on me. And, and this is good patience from Webster. He was getting slightly frustrated because Lucas was staying in front of him, but he kept going. He kept with his crossovers, his body shakes, and everything like that. And eventually it paid off. And you know, this New Zealand team, they trust him. They trust him with those kind of moves. They're not afraid as uh, Abercrombie kicks it back out to Illy. They're not afraid to just get themselves ready for a shot. Illy kicks it back out. Webster wide open at the top. That is his spot. Is somebody going to check the tape on this guy? That's four from six now. That's four from six. And from every Corey single Webster. one of them, every single one of them have been from the top of the key. Slukas, Princesses, back to Slukas. Giannis trying to get it on the inside. There's going to be a foul this time on Lowe. And Lowe once again, he's about the third separate New Zealand uh, front court man that's saying, I don't know what else to do. But you know what? I actually agree. Finn Delaney is calling, the, you know, shouting at the official a little bit. He shouldn't really be shouting at the official. I understand what he's calling. When Antetokounmpo is posting up and trying to establish in the low block, his arm is hooking all the way around the back of his defender, and he can't do that. He can't be hooking his player out of the way. And, you know, that was something that Alex Garcia in the previous game as Antetokounmpo goes up and in, but they get away with one there. Yep, yep, they seem to get a piece of the ball, and that's the key. It's not about one-on-one, -on -one, it's about three-on-one -on against Antetokounmpo. Billy. He wants a reset, and he's got time for it, too. Abercrombie, nice cut inside, just can't hold on to it. Up and under! What a finish that is by the captain, Tom Abercrombie. That's a big play. That's a big play. Most people have lost their composure when oh, they fumbled sure. the ball. But he managed to get back to it and go, go straight up with it. Between Shea Ely and Abercrombie, I mean, this, these tall blacks, they are living up to their name. They are standing tall against the NBA's MVP. Check it out. Princesses gets it back, looking for Giannis, gonna do it himself now, up and in, textbook finish, cut the puzzle. Yeah, it's a great play by Princesses, and Abercrombie needs to know that he has to challenge that. Abercrombie, up, float, tries to get the roll, they're gonna call the foul, and two shots for Tom Abercrombie. Coach Scortopoulos can't believe it. And I think that's going to be Slukas' second foul as well. But yeah, it's the right call. He's put his hand yeah. on his stomach as he's gone up. And he's left his feet. Yeah, the issue you've got as well is it's your, your instinct to do something like that. If someone's coming towards you, you're going to put your hand out to stop yeah, them hitting yeah. you. But yeah, the only option you have is to take take a charge or take it you know, fully on the chest. And we, we spoke about this time and again for, uh, for New Zealand. It's their play style. They're going to come right at you. And uh, I think that, you know, to, the, to their credit, I don't think Greece was was truly prepared for just the amount of confidence and, and determination that these tall blacks have had when they've been attacking the paint in this game. I don't think anyone is when they play New Zealand. I really don't. I don't think they expect them to have so much confidence and so much hustle and heart about them. Papa Nicolau. Oh, nice spin move there. Up and under, can't get the drop. And you can see him jumping in air in frustration. Abercrombie, Delaney. And go up and in himself. Oh, slows it down, just can't get it up. And once again, though, I'm loving the confidence from these tall blocks. Yeah, back to back, great moves, poor finish. Giannis up, in, floats, foul, going to the line. And New Zealand can't believe it. I'll be interested to see the uh, replay on that one. It's a strong move by Anthony Combo, and he's forcing the action. Yeah, arm on his arm. Yep. That's absolutely right. It's the right call. Yep. Unfortunately, sometimes as we've got a substitution into the game for Greece's number 19, Giannis Papapetro. I, I always find it funny when you watch players, they put their arms straight up in the air, saying, oh, look, I'm straight up. Yeah, but your feet are making you walk around in circles. That means you're <laughs> not still anymore. It doesn't matter where your arms are if you keep walking. That's just that advantage that Giannis has over so many other players. Well, no matter who they are, he's just so long, so big, so strong that 
even if you think you're playing perfect defense, he's still able to get that contact just because of how big he is and how agile he is. He's certainly a handful. I've never seen anything like him before in the, in the game of basketball. Giannis knocks down the second. And that's the scariest part. He could still keep getting better and better. And I guarantee you, he's coming out of this tournament a lot better, at least mentally, understanding what it's going to take. Yeah, I think he's going to come out an awful lot tougher. He's had a tough first couple of games, and he's learned from those. Here's Abercrombie. Kicks it out, Webster. Oh, kicks it back over. What a great find that was. Abercrombie, he's got to knock that down. You can see the frustration. He knows he had that. Full speed, Giannis. Picks it over, shot goes up, no good. Corey Webster, huge rebound for New Zealand. Can they create something now? For three, Corey Webster! Corey Webster, remember that name! He is in a dreamland right now. Everything he's shooting is good to go. You don't even have to watch it go in. You know what's about to happen. You're about to hear string music. I'm starting to believe that the, the true winner of this year's FIBA World Cup will not be the team that takes home. It'll be Corey Webster's agent. I think so. I think so. And Tedekumpo, nice find inside. Give him another assist and a nice finish by Yorgos Pintesis. Yeah, and Tedekumpo now 12 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. He's uh, filling the box score up. Webster up and in. Oh my goodness, Corey Webster. Wow, this is a straightforward one-on-one -on -one shootout now. Who's going to come out with the biggest stat line? Corey Webster or Teta Kumpo? 21 points in the first half. It's Lucas, no look fine to Kalathis underneath. Oh, that's just a heady move by the veteran. Yeah, Abercrombie's got to do better, though. He's got to lock out that baseline, get his foot on the baseline so he's going to stop Kalathis coming back. Illy, nice spin move up and in. Just can't get the finish. He will get the foul, though. Oh, my goodness. I just... This is so much fun to watch, this game. New Zealand, it, I mean, they just believe in themselves. It's just not stopping. This is the great thing about these games. It's like two heavyweights just throwing haymaker after haymaker at each other, hoping the other one's going to falter, and neither are stepping back. Not one inch are they moving back from the fight. Every single player on both teams is fully zoned in on this one. 40 seconds to go in this half. You know, you're hope, if you're a New Zealand fan, you're hoping that they can hold on, maybe just at least get one more stop after these buckets. And you'd be sitting in a very good situation right now as uh, Illy gets the kind roll from the charity strike. Coach Inari, stoic as always, on the sideline. You can almost feel the excitement from though. He's like a kid in a sweet shop at the moment. These kind of challenges come once in a lifetime for coaches. And they, you know, the big coaches, the good coaches relish these opportunities. Billy makes good on the second. We got a substitution. Billy gonna take a seat as Ty Webster seeing if he can be a spark plug for this New Zealand team in the final 40 seconds of this half. Yeah, he's not had a bad game so far either. Only played 12 minutes, five points, two boards, three assists. Not quite the level of his brother, but still. Putting the numbers in. Oh, a rare miss by Kalathis, and Webster goes behind the back. Do we have more magic? Smith Milner kicks it out. And here's Ty Webster wisely bringing it back. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Shakes his defender. Just can't get the roll. 16 seconds, and it's Giannis with the ball. And what's that going to be? That's going to be on low, his second personal. Smart move by Yanis, trying to claim as many uh, scalps as he can on the foul stake. What I expect to see now is an isolation, I imagine, for Yanis. The then you'll see a double team come across to, to try and stop him, and that's the point you'll kick out. Expect every other Greek player to be spotting up corners and wings. Delaney with the matchup of his life right now, as there's going to be a Greece timeout. We'll see what uh, Coach Skortopoulos can draw up here in this final possession. Okay, if you get the ball play, 
I said immediately. But if it's if it's a ten hour alpha. And here's the man at the moment for New Zealand. To say he's got a hot hand is a complete understatement of what he has done so far in this game. 21 points in just 16 minutes of play. And it's not by just jacking shots up. He's five from seven for the perimeter. You know, that's 71%. A lot of players don't shoot free throws at that percentage. He's finding his hot zones, that's for sure. And Greece is definitely going to need to take a look at what they're doing defensively to keep him away from that top of the key. But here we are, back to the game now. Giannis, spin move, up, under, great defense, does not matter. Giannis finishes. Webster for three. No good, and that's going to be your first half, Mark. What a half of basketball it was. Yeah, an amazing half. So many highlights to talk about. So many individual performances that are just trying to grab hold of the game. And it's again, it's on a knife edge. And here are the shooting stats from that first half, and a pretty uh, good reading for both sides, to be honest with you. Um, and we have a tight game across the stats, and we have a pretty tight game in scoring. A seven-point lead for Greece. The turnovers have been toned down. New Zealand only turned the ball over once in that second quarter, and I think that's going to be a huge part of the game. Can they protect the ball? Can they make their possessions count? I think you can ask yourself as well, going into this third quarter, as we take a look at the top scores in Tedekumpo, uh, living up to the bill right now, 14 points, but Corey Webster, my goodness. Just fully unstoppable at the moment, Corey Webster. They don't seem to find a solution for him. And, and you know, that might be how New Zealand take the win here. So also, I mean, so we're just taking a look at some of these have, or excuse me, some of these highlights. Enjoy them. Do not go anywhere. Please, this is going to be one heck of a finish here in Nanjing, China.
界杯就在腾讯。Points right here for Lennon. Oh, Gallo! With a 360 turn and then a slam dunk. Wojcicki, bounce pass. What a play by Poland. Again, Coach Taylor has to be pleased with the off ball movement. People don't stand around on this team. the game. Touch pass to Medri! Throws it down, draws.
that's a foul. He'll go to the line for a bonus. Man, they just did the same thing Puerto Rico did to them. Six on the shot clock. Here comes Brown. Brown, step back for three. Oh! Can you believe it? What a three from Brown. And with five seconds to go, Puerto Rico take the lead. My parents gave me away, so I had no purpose in this life. Yeah. When you educate a woman, you educate a nation. It's a quote from Nelson Mandela, by the way. points they just need to keep going yeah, absolutely and of course uh, I think another huge factor for New Zealand in this uh, second half will be uh, can Fatou stay out of that foul trouble yeah he picked up two early fouls went to the bench came back on and made an absolute schoolboy mistake he got lured into an egg don by one of the uh, Greek players I think it was Manzaris at the time and just dropped his shoulder into him for an offensive foul and he went straight back off again he's He's not had the impact he's had in the tournament so far. Bear in mind, he's averaging 18 and a half points a game across the first two games, and he's only on six and a half. And uh, uh, let me pose this question to you, Mark. Now, Greece, despite all of their depth, despite all of their ability, despite all of all of their experience, this is a team that's been rather flat in the third quarter in both of these games. So far, being outscored 49 to 25. What do you think it's going to take for them to kind of shake that against a team that is clearly fearless when it comes to going up against them? Well, I, I have a feeling what it needs is it needs that real leader. It needs that one person just to take it by the scruff of the neck and try and take the game on. It looks like it might be Anthony Kumpo today. He looks like he's in the mood for this game. You know, he's looked a little bit subdued in the first two games. It's a very different beast that we see today. And maybe that's what they need, just someone to say, give me the ball, let me be the spark, let me ignite our offense in this second half. Well, so far in that first half, he's actually, uh, he has been exactly what you just said. He's led his entire team in all the stats, <laughs> all major stats, points, rebounds, even assists. He's, uh, he's, he's been that guy so far in the first half, but uh, to your point, it'll be, it still remains to be seen if he can be that man in the second. Yeah, and it's going to take the cast of many. It's not just about him, and that's the key. He started off by scoring, so he got to his points pretty soon. What then happened was you had double, triple teams coming in from New Zealand and a lot of physicality, but the young man had a bright, you know, kind of epiphany moment of, well, just let them come. As soon as I get two guys come across to me, I've got shooters. My team is loaded with shooters, so I just need to kick the ball back out, and they've shown that. You know, you've got Slukas coming in hitting shots. Papa Petru's hit a couple of deep threes. That's, I think, possibly more what the second half's going to look like for Greece. Absolutely. As you can see, the Greece fans, they're, they're excited, they're hopeful, but you can also see the nerves a little bit as uh, they, they've been in this situation before leading at halftime against Brazil, uh, a, a dominating performance against Montenegro. But uh, this New Zealand team, if, 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 they're, if they're anything, they are resilient. Oh, they are, and they will fight till the final buzzer. You know, they have made it out of the group stage in the last four World Cups. 
So for them not to make it out this time would be in their mind a failure. Good. That's not what they've come in to do. The minimum is getting out of the group stage. Down. Down so for them, Bobby. they're going to fight to that final buzzer. That's never going to change. As we yeah, take a look, Paul and Ari might be drying up here going into this third quarter for New Zealand. He's popping out of it. Switch off that thing. If I go over this. Yeah, yeah. good? Yeah. Late. Um, yeah, we're Al Downs. Al Downs with uh, Robbie. Hi. Nice calm Greek squad. They're ready to come back out on the floor and to a certain degree, that's going to be the key. They're going to have to stay together as a team, and it's not just about the game here today. The rest of the tournament, if they make it through to the second round, that's going to be a, a you know a big key to their success and their chances of making it onto the podium. So, uh, Lucas Costas Lucas starting out this game, uh, starting out this half, excuse me, on the uh, bench with three personal fouls. But uh, you know, as you've said time and again, Mark, this is a very very deep team. They can afford to lose. However, with Fatou on the floor, New Zealand cannot afford to lose him. So there's a bit of rough stuff going on in the post here. This is Papa, Papa Petro. Gets it back, up and in, hook shot, good. And that might be a tactic for them. Make Corey Webster have to play defense. Make him work hard, particularly something in the low post, and it might affect his offensive production. Here's Fatou with Antetokounmpo on him, and really you can see this Greek team really going for length here going into this third quarter. Webster trying to go into the basket, and Kalathis gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Yeah, only his first foul, so Greek fans will be relieved. The last thing they want is to see Slukas and Kalathis in foul trouble, but yeah, an easy one for the officials to call as uh, Ty Webster just tries to slide his way into the lane. Just the absolute speed and agility of the Webster brothers for New Zealand. I mean, they, they have been causing fits for everyone they've been going up against, but uh, it's going to be especially challenging for a guy like Kalathis as Fatou gets the ball in the inbound. And Webster thinks about it wisely, passes it back, lets his big man get some work in. Webster up and in, hook shot. And that's what they need, don't they, Mark? And that's the trademark for two, you know, hook shot. That's what he's going to go to. What we can hope for New Zealand's perspective is that he can stay in the game. Kalathis. Running high out, gets it over to uh, Papa Nicolau. Double team comes in, Kalathis drives to the basket, trying to take on Fatou, but here's Giannis. And he's gonna get called with the charge. Excellent play by the captain, Tom Abercrombie, for the Tall Blacks. That's a great, that's a great play by Abercrombie. That yeah. really is, he, he's, he's read the situation. He knows what Antetokounmpo's go-to is. It's, the, it's go to the side and then spin your way back in. As long as you can get yourself planted where you know he wants to put his feet, He's going to clash into you. And you can even tell Giannis, no reaction when he got called. He knew he got caught on that one. Low. But you do love seeing that energy from the MVP. He knows that this isn't going to come easy. And you can see a real level of respect that we may not have seen from before. As there's a steal right on cue, Giannis and Tedekupo tries to get it over to his brother, finds it back to him. As Thanasis goes flying into the cameras, kicks it back out. Thanasis for three, all the time in the world, and a, a poor breakdown there by New Zealand. Yeah, it's one of those as well. On the scouting report, you'd say let Thanasis shoot the three. He's not necessarily the best of shooters from outside, but made him pay this time. Webster. Oh, nice find. It just misses. And coming down with a rebound is Papa Nicolau. Looking for an option. He wants to slow down. You know exactly what he wants to do. He wants to post up Corey Webster. Giannis up under great defense by the tall blacks but a bit of a late call but uh i think it was the right one. oh it absolutely was the right one it was a slightly late call but better late than never in that situation yeah, yeah you oh can yeah see the All contact right. from Abercrombie. and the thing you've got with antetokounmpo he can take a bit longer and stay up in the air while you're still you know deciding what to do and you come back down he's still floating up there so it's a tough defensive assignment i just want to say this very quickly too tom Abercrombie is one of the most unsuspecting athletes you will find I mean, in the warm-ups, this guy was dunk the dunks he was throwing down. His head was at the rim. Not a guy you would expect, but here's Webster. Gets the rebound, loses a handle on it, gets it back, up and in. My God, he's just feeling it right now. Corey Webster 
point number 23 on that form, also his second rebound of the game. He's on a different level at the moment. He's in that zone where he knows everything he does is going to pay dividends. He's uh, knocked out of bounds. 56-48. New Zealand hanging tough right now with 7.37 to go against the heavily favored Greeks, a team that at the beginning of this tournament was coming in expecting to win, are now fighting for their lives to get out of the group stage. And this is international basketball. This is World Cup basketball. No game is a gimme. No favorite is truly a favorite. And Tadakumpo. With the two on him, he's going to take on for two up in. Just so explosive, but too explosive a little bit. That's exactly what I was going to say. Just exploded too much and almost made it a difficult shot to shoot down into the basket rather than get any kind of arc on the shot. I wish I had that problem. That would be nice. It would be nice. <laughs> Here's for two. Works in the post. Uh, breakdown in communication there. And uh, the uh, teammates going to have a quick chat about that one. And these were some of the turnovers that we saw in their game against Montenegro that caused us concern. Unforced turnovers, you know, there was no real pressure. They could have made an easy pass, but they, you know, the, the easy mistake instead. Here I say it, Mark, as uh, Kalathis kicks it out. Here's Papa Nicolau now. This is Thanasis to Giannis. And Giannis going to let it fly from three. Great closeout, though, by Lowe. Perfect closeout. Webster on a fast break now, kicks it out. Lowe, great ball movement here. Abercrombie, big three, no good. Papa Nicolau, fast break to Papa Petro, up and in, and what a finish that is by the Greeks. Thanasis almost took his own head off there, <laughs> trying to follow through on the rebound, had to duck to uh, avoid headbutting the backboard on the way through. I was just going to say, uh, Mark, you know, you know, with a team like New Zealand that loves to run up and down the floor, that trade-off you see is just a, a slight less cohesiveness in the half-court game that a lot of other teams in this group have. Yeah, absolutely. Half-court is not as strong for them as the uh, transitioners. Lathis up and under. This is Giannis goes up and it's going to be a foul, smart foul by Corey Webster. Only a second personal. Yeah, that's fine. You're happy to give away your second at this stage of the game. The issue goes if he picks up his third, that could see him make a, a trip to the bench, and that's not what New Zealand want. We do have uh, a number of players, though, coming in for New Zealand. As uh, Shea Illy back into the game, who had a very nifty finish over Giannis in the first quarter. Uh, also in Delaney, who's probably got the matchup of his life right now, having to try and guard Giannis for a lot of that first half. And then, of course, uh, Rusbatch and Ethan Rusbatch, who's been a very impressive shooter for New Zealand in this tournament. Giannis, this is the first. I believe that's his third miss from the free throw line. Yeah, you hope it just doesn't come back to haunt him at the end of the game because you have a feeling it might be a close one. New Zealand only shooting 38% from the free throw line. Greece, 64. Makes the second. 59 48, 618 to go here in the third. New Zealand and Greece. Winner moves on to the next round. Loser is playing for placement. Here's Low with Giannis on him. Webster. For three, heat check. Corey Webster. And you can feel the aura of him now. He has ultimate confidence in his own abilities. He knows that when he can get just the slightest look at the basket, he's good to go. I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan, as are a lot of uh, basketball players here and there, especially out in North America. He's got Ultra Instinct right now. Ultra Instinct. Calling it right now. Jay Illy. Loses it over. Another unforced turnover and an easy bucket and a much needed timeout. And Molinari, I can imagine, is screaming inside right now. Yeah, it's frustrating. Again, it's that unnecessary turnover. He didn't need to do that. There was no need and no benefit to try and run that as, as quick as he did. And Kalathis more than happy to scoop it up and get the easy two. And a 13 point lead now for Greece. Spaced. 
watch a replay of Fotu. Giannis going to work. So many players working hard in the low post. This is the biggest lead of the game for Greece now. 13 points with just over five and a half to play. It's a smart move by Coach Inare. Calling it, slowing it down, hitting a reset button. But they do need to start chipping away at this lead. They can't have it at 13 points going into the final quarter. Because what you'll see is you'll see Greece starting to time manage, starting to run the clock. And using their big basketball brains to dominate this one. <laughs> big basketball brains. Much needed. Here's Illy. Goes behind the back. Once again, nearly loses himself. Delaney gets it over to Webster and Illy. 14 seconds to go on the shot clock. Webster trying to create separation. Finds on the inside. Oh! What a jam! Get up, Finn Delaney. That was an unexpected play. That'll do it for your confidence. And now he's got the MVP at the other end of guard. Kalathis works inside. Here's Giannis. Looking for an option, kicks it back out to Lathis, wide open, no good. But Thanasis comes down with the rebound, and Greece is going to get a fresh 14. Giannis kicks it back out. Wise decision. Up and in. Just gets the rollout. Webster, fast break. Illy kicks it out, corner, Russ Batch, no good. Beautiful phase of play by New Zealand. Couldn't quite get the corner three to drop, though. I think that would have got the crowd going. Tedekumpo, we're going to call a blocking foul. And this is going to be on Webster. That's number three. This is what we were talking about. There is a substitution coming in. Smith Milner is going to take out Rob Lowe as we look at the uh, replay there. Still a good call at Delaney, just out of nowhere. And Tedekumpo thought he had a block there, and Delaney said, uh uh, big man, I can get up there too. Yeah, no, big, powerful play and strong play. And like you said in, in the uh, actual play by play, that's where your confidence comes from. Those kind of plays, and that's what Corey Webster's been feeling. If he can get a few teammates that way, then New Zealand are powerful. They can score in a hurry. Every single one of these players on this uh, New Zealand roster can throw it down. We've seen every single one of them. So do not be shocked if you see one more time someone from this team just out of nowhere throws it down. Here's Kalathis. Gets it over to Papa Petro. Inside now. Kicks it out. No good. Also back into the game is Printessis, number 15 for Greece. Yeah, Delaney should have chased that one down. He was uh, missing in action for that play. We're going to have a blocking foul this time on yeah. Smith Milner. Just to see the replay on this to the position. No, nowhere near. That's <laughs> nowhere near positioning. He drew the contact, but he was moving. And that's just been, unfortunately, uh, the downfall for Smith Milner. He's, he's, he's been getting himself in there, but as you said, he's not. He's still sliding over as, as you know, these Greek uh, players are just too fast. They're too quick, uh, too agile on those, uh, on those first steps. And they're catching Milner out of position. It'd be interesting to see now from New Zealand's perspective. Corey Webster has gone on to the, gone back to the bench, obviously on the three fouls. Where's the offensive production going to come through now? Who's going to take that role when everything's not working? Give me the ball and I'll score. Probably going to be his brother Ty, if we're honest. Either him or Shea Illy. Illy's shown time and again. He's capable. Capable of taking the contact. Oh, Webster, spin move. Right on cue, Mark. Making you look like a genius. T. Webb with a beautiful spin move to the basket. Just elegance personified. Kalathis with Illy on him. They're going to have to make Greece work right now. They've got to get them tired. they got to wear them down. Kalathis inside. And there's going to be a foul on Illy. I don't think Illy will have a problem. He's, he doesn't care. He's still clapping himself up, going, nope, nothing easy. Really just needs to be careful. You've got to be so careful when a player's in the air like that. The last thing you want to do is flip him over. But there's the move from Ty Webster. Puts it on the spin cycle, and his, his teammates and his brother love that one. Webster with seven points so far in this game, shooting 43% from the field. He's got one made three. Uh, Thanasis and Tedekumpo, this has really kind of been a, a coming out party for him. Nine points, that's his highest total so far in this tournament. Yeah, he didn't get many uh, minutes against Brazil in game day two. I'm sure he was frustrated by that. Less than ten minutes on the court for him. 
He's shooting 67% from the field, but misses his first free, free throw. Makes good on the second, though. And the lead is now back up to double digits for Greece. They've outscored New Zealand 15-11 in this third quarter. Billy. Billy up and in. Huge rejection, but they're going to call goaltending. And the speed and athleticism of Illy getting there in time. Oh, Illy just put the afterburners on. Flat out put the afterburners on and blast past his defender. Thanasis Antetokounmpo comes across on a weak side help. And it looks like a great play, but does it touch the backboard? Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, easy call. That's goaltend. Yep. That's goaltend all day long. It looks great, but it's still two points for New Zealand. Single digit lead now for Greece. Cesaris. Tessis, excuse me, kicks it inside. And loses it is uh, Panayotis Vasilopoulos, not the entrance to the game that he wanted. And this is part of the problem with Greece. They only ran a nine-man rotation against Brazil. Vasilopoulos was one of the players who missed out. And you become really rusty in tournament play. If you miss a game, you're kind of taking three or four steps backwards. It's almost like you, you know, back to before the before the tournament even started, and you see his frustration as he kicks the ball, and that's a, a, an easy technical foul for the officials to call. And Ty Webster will go to the line and convert the uh, the bonus shot. Ty Webster, they understand how important it is to put points on the board when the clock is not running, and unfortunately for New Zealand, you know, you, you can make the argument, Mark, you know as great as Greece is and as well as they have been playing so New Zealand's really just been kind of beating themselves yeah if they hadn't made those simple mistakes I think we'd be in a tied game if not a New Zealand lead right on cue Abercrombie falls down and it's going to be a slippery floor now that one definitely not uh, the tall blacks fault though uh, no not in <laughs> not in this situation no yeah between the the four free throw shooting and the, the unnecessary turnovers I, I dare I say this might even be a lead for New Zealand right now yeah, it could potentially be. So the great thing you've got about New Zealand is they're going to write that off in their minds, though. That's done and dusted. It's in the past. They're a team that constantly looks to the future. Here's Delaney to Illy. Yep, no, no quit in these guys. Whole lot of fight. Illy up and in himself, and there's going to be a foul. And that's it right there, just walking through the woods. And this is what Illy did in game day one when they played Brazil. He refused to step back. He refused to walk away from the challenge. And he really was the spark that almost got them the win at the end, where Brazil let them back into the game. He was off the back of this kind of play from Shea Illy. I think any uh, the coaching staff, I'm hoping that they took a look at that, at that tape from game day one to understand that he can put just about anybody in foul trouble just by his style of play. Yeah, he can. He's a real wild card that you can kind of play at any time just to try and, you know, dislodge a few problems and, and, and change things up. If a team are finding you easy to defend, he's the kind of guy that will put them on, on their heels. Inch by inch, New Zealand. Can they claw their way back into this one? Two possession game. And this is exactly what New Zealand did to Brazil as well. They'll just grind them down. Here's the line at the other end, Princesses kicks it back out to Kalathis. Kalathis wants to slow down, wants to eat some clock, see what he can create here. But you said it before, Mark, with Giannis off the floor, can they create something now? Can they go on that run? Puts it over, Papa Nicolau, and that's going to be a foul on Illy. And Illy, as upset as he is, it's a pretty easy call. Yeah, he is very, very frustrated by that. He's sand all ball as he walks away, and he needs to be careful. Yeah, it's all, yeah. it's all ball, but Princess's right arm comes down, and Illy plows through it. That's yeah. the problem. It's all ball at the time, but you can't hit the shooter on the follow-through. Yeah, That's the problem. All ball, and then your shoulder goes <laughs> careening into the shooter. Sorry, that's... But that's a great chase out. As, oh, a, yeah. as a coach, you're frustrated that you're putting a man to the line, but you kind of also have admiration for your player to work so hard to chase that well, down. You know, back home, I always try and explain to the players, you know, you want to see, I'd rather see aggressive mistakes than, than passive ones. Passive mistakes lose games. Aggressive mistakes keep you in it. It's good on the second as well. 
He's making them pay from the line, that's for sure. Costas Papa Nicolau. That's his fifth point on the day. We're going to have a substitution right on cue. Back into the game, Giannis and Tedekumpo, along with number 10, Costas Lucas. Yes, yeah, Lucas is going to have to be careful. He's on three fouls. There's still over 12 minutes to play. If he picks up a quick four, it could be issues for Greece. Billy. Over to Abercrombie. He's going to let it fly. What a shot. Huge shot for Tom I don't, think the I don't think Vasilopoulos is going to be in this game very much longer. He's really not at the races at the moment. His brain isn't kind of fully focused. And Tedekumpo, he's just so fast and so big. You know, I, I understand Delaney's frustration, but he's just too quick. It is a foul. It's a very, for me, that's a very light foul, if I'm honest. That's that's quite a, a not a harsh call, because a foul is a foul is a foul. It's, you know, the rules are the rules, but I can understand some frustration. It's been quite a physical encounter where not everything is being called. Well, the best case scenario you can do is just have the conversation with the ref and say, just keep an eye open when he's initiating contact like that on me. You know, just keep that in mind. <laughs> you can't just let him get whatever he wants. But again, it's not a bad foul. You know, you've sent him to the line and the pressure's paid. He's missed the first. He's only shooting 67% now. Not terrible, but also not great. Looks good on the second. 70 to 63, 204 to go, I mean, you know, New Zealand's still right in this one. Oh, absolutely. With 12 minutes to play, it's uh, absolutely anyone's game. Billy. Works off the screen. Gets the switch. Runs out of real estate, though. Gets it to Webster. Still nine seconds to go, though. He's got time to figure it out. This is a matchup Webster would want. Up and finish. Foul just can't get it to roll. Oh, it looks like Antetokounmpo hit the ground quite hard. They saw him grimace as he hit the ground. Looks like he's okay though, he's back on his feet, but what another great play. You know, Ty Webster and Shea Illy, you don't get much quicker a backcourt in this World Cup than those two. Unbelievable. Look at that right there. But yep, oh, the hip flying right into him as he was going up. He was still going up in the air as he was trying to finish the, the uh, trying to finish the bucket. And I've just been so impressed with the fearlessness of these New Zealand guards. Hey, they're happy to go in amongst the trees, no matter how big the trees are. It's, uh, yeah, and it's been critical that they've done that. They're not going to score a lot of points from back to the basket kind of, kind of offenses. We've talked about them wanting to be in transition. And even when they get into the half court, they're running transition-like plays. They're not even running half court plays. They're trying to get a bit of ISO, create some space on the floor. So, uh, yeah, a big part of their game. Oh, what a second effort there by Delaney. Kicks it out, Abercrombie, no good. But he's going to keep on shooting. Here's Kalathis. Brintessis. To Giannis. Giannis going to try and break down his defender. Shoots the three, no good. That's exactly what you want if you're New Zealand. Hey, Smith Milner will quite happily watch him shoot the three all day long. <laughs> Illy. Abercrombie up, floater, foul, goes to the line, much to the delight of the New Zealand bench. Everybody getting up and applauding that one. Yeah, much to the frustration of uh, Coach Skotopoulos as well. He's absolutely fuming on the Greek bench. Vesselopoulos still in there, trying to eat up as many minutes as he can before, uh, and I think that's the that's the plan Skotopoulos has in his mind now is, okay, if he's gonna stay this aggressive, then at least let him, uh, get involved but unfortunately that time around not the guy you want to foul now interestingly enough i'm surprised we haven't seen barusis i know he's slightly slower and that's going to inhibit him against a team like new zealand but i don't think there's a huge pace difference and foot speed difference between vasilopoulos and barusis well said and you know you can hear the crowd now starting to get behind this new zealand team they've been loving the fight slukas tries to find it inside does find his man Fantessis. Fantessis, though up and under, and there's going to be a foul. And I think, you know, if, if you're Smith Milner, he's already off balance. Yeah, he's let him Let him go. Yeah, absolutely. There's look no need this. to initiate the contact at this look point. At this, look at this. He's off balance right there. 
you don't need to step forward. You're happy for him to take a fadeaway jumper. Yeah. That's a low percentage he, shot. He's right-handed, and he's trying to come in and up and under the basket. Like, that's not going to be... That's an extremely difficult shot, even if you're as skilled as Pertessis. And he gets away with it. And the three-throw nightmare continues for Greece, which is amazing when you actually think about it. They're shooting 64%. Before the game, they were shooting 89%. Something's going on. And Greece now shooting 60. 71 66 58 seconds i mean new zealand's still right where they want to be two possession game then they shock the world Sorry, they'll be ahead, happy Martin. with they'll be happy with this they won the second quarter they're leading this third quarter they'll be happy here's webster uh, under oh my goodness it's just a great effort there the referee almost kind of let him get away with one there a lot of contact on both ends Vasilopoulos picks it inside to Giannis. Giannis with Delaney all over him and a jump ball. You could tell they were going to call it right away. If they weren't going to call that foul on the initial hit, it's going to be New Zealand ball. And that's a huge turn of events for the Tall Blacks. Yeah, Delaney absolutely pumped by that play, and rightfully so. He's mixed it up and dragged the ball in. Smith Milner deserved that. He yeah. deserved it. He's had such a rough day. <laughs> yeah, it's been tough. It's yeah. been tough. But ultimately that's part of his role within this kind of structure for tall blacks is that he's not going to be the glamour player that gets you know all the all the plaudits and all the, the limelight he is going to do some of the rough and tough stuff and he's having to do it today 10 seconds on the shot clock Billy he's going to attack up in himself not going to call it Vasilopoulos comes down with it six seconds remaining in the quarter four seconds three seconds Princesses. no good and that's going to do it in the third quarter, and I can imagine that despite the frustration of Coach Polinari right now looking for the foul, New Zealand is right where they want to be, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. We spoke about it after the break of the half. The key was maybe to close down their gap a little bit, but at least don't let it get out. Now, for New Zealand, they're one of these. They want to keep you within striking distance, and that's where they are. And here are your shooting stats from the game so far. And uh, reasonably good shooting performances across the board. It's been interesting, probably in this third quarter, Corey Webster picked up his uh, third foul early on. That sent him to the bench. But we haven't seen a downplay from New Zealand. They've not gone into a slump at all. The rest of the team have come around, and they've, you know, they've picked up the pieces where they've needed to. They've taken on that extra weight that Corey Webster leaves behind him. I mean, it's just a... I mean, and, and I, I really, you, you just took the words right out of my mouth because this team, despite not being without their top score, top score only registering five points in that quarter for them. Not even a drop off, they won that quarter 22 to 20 and have bit into this lead. I mean, that's just nothing short of incredible. But, you know, if, if, if you're a New Zealand fan and you're used to seeing this kind of level of, of, of cohesion within this team. Oh, absolutely. It's, you know, it's one of their, probably their biggest strength is their strength as a team. and. Uh, in Delaney with the big throw now. That's a highlight film. He'll be showing the grandkids, that's for sure. But for New Zealand, that's their big strength. Their strength is in their numbers, in their team, and how they play basketball together. None of them, you know, call each other out in a, in a bad way. They're all accountable to each other, sure, but it's in a positive, reinforcing way. And for Greece, they, they are starting to build that as well. You're starting to see that within their team, that they're coming together to be quite a close, tight unit. The key for them is how do they bring in a superstar like Antes for Kumpo into that unit and keep your team spirit, your team morale, and your team ethos going. As we also take a look here at um, I mean, a guy that I really want to talk about very briefly would have been uh, Tom Abercrombie. He's just been nothing short of incredible so far for his team. Back to the uh, action here. I just said just really briefly there before the pause, uh, Tom Abercrombie, 11 points, second on the team in scoring right now. Uh, a, a huge step up for him after what was definitely two frustrating games uh, earlier in this tournament. We get to the action. What a save there by Antetokounmpo. Kicks out, Slukas. 
but they're fighting for it, and Delaney coming down with it. A mistake originally by Antetokounmpo, but he made up for it with an unbelievably athletic play to swat it back in. Here's Abercrombie. Trying to go off the back screen. Smith Milner, no good. And Antetokounmpo coming down with it. Giannis is going to bring it up here for Greece. See if he can take on Delaney. Kicks it back out, though. Here's Giannis. Working it around. You can't leave him open. They don't need to double team down that hard on Giannis. What they need is any weak side help. So when Giannis does start to barge his way to the basket, you've got someone coming across to reinforce you or to protect the rim. They don't need a guard doubling down. Here's Webster. Spin move up and under right to the basket. Ty Webster. T Web with another big spin move. It's uh, almost becoming his trademark as he floats in and finger rolls it home. So explosive. I mean, he can easily dunk that. that it was incredible watching him in practice, some of the stuff he was throwing down. Shot goes up, another huge triple right on cue. Giannis Papapetro, he had a huge fourth quarter as well for Bra against Brazil. They've got to stop doubling down on Giannis. That's going to cause them more issues than if Giannis goes to the basket. Webster, see hopefully the uh, he hasn't iced down at all for uh, New Zealand in this fourth quarter. They're going to need him now more than ever. And Smith Milner, looked like he got pretty hit pretty hard in the head there. and. Uh, yeah, I, I feel sorry for Smith Milner there. That was a, almost a replica of what's being called at the other end, so I can understand his frustrations. That's obviously a foul, but the defense played by Antetokounmpo seems very similar to the defense they've been playing with him down the other And uh, Rob Lowe coming in, and it seems like he's going to take out Delaney and Smith Milner staying in. And what a save that was by Antetokounmpo. Just incredible second ever. This is the second time we've seen him just go full out sprawling this week diving for a loose ball and it just shows you know he is dedicated he is completely committed to his country and their efforts to try and win gold here in China it's Lucas kicks it out Princess is wide open again from the top of the key you cannot leave these guys open and coach Sonari has seen enough as the lead is now back up to 11 yeah that's a 9-2 start and all of the points have come from the perimeter they've got to stop doubling down at some point on the court they need to work that out performance if you wonder what the noise in the arena is though there's actually a proposal going on at the moment on the jumbo screen above us and it looks like she said yes you think Giannis Antetokounmpo is having a good day I think he's having a better one <laughs> and he's rocking the Antetokounmpo jersey as we get a look at the uh, an, an incredibly explosive move there by Ty Webster uh, almost a mirror image of a couple of his plays earlier in that third quarter and I mean you know, th this is this is their M.O. though, as we look at uh, Antetokounmpo recording a double-double, 16 points, 10 rebounds. I believe almost the identical stat line for him yesterday, too. Yeah, pretty much. He's uh, He seems in a different mindset today, though. Yeah. He seems a lot more ready, a lot more engaged with the, the challenge that he's got in front of him. This isn't an NBA game. It's a very different sport. Another unforced error from New Zealand as Finn Delaney just steps over the line when he's looking to inbound the ball. As a player, that's one of the ones you learn. Maybe step back from the line. If you want to step into your, into your pass, give yourself some space to do it out of bounds still. And as you can see right there, Slukas almost taking a, a page from that. Look how far back he is. He doesn't want to take that chance. Here's Giannis. Picks it out. Nice find on the inside. Slukas picks it over. Papa Petro. Gonna try and go out, but great defense. 
Great defense by the Tall Blacks. That's good hustle and rotation. They kept moving, they kept talking. You know, you could hear really loud calls, particularly from Rob Lowe, constantly from the back of the defense, just shouting out exactly where people need to move to when screens were coming. And that's the teamwork, and that's how it pays dividends. These guys have no quit in the mark. Absolutely none. This is going to go to the buzzer. 12 point deficit. A lot of teams at this point, you'd worry that they're starting to think. You know, teams will rush, try and score all 12 of those points in one possession. New Zealand is not that type of team. They will take their time. Yes, they will make their mistakes, but they will not give up. There's Webster. Does he have one more monster quarter in him for the Tall Blacks? To his brother Ty. Tom Abercrombie, step back. Knocks it down, huge shot. It's a good time for Abercrombie to come to life. He's up to 13 points personal now. This is his best game of the World Cup so far, and it's going to need to be. By far. It's Lucas. Giannis up and inside. What a pass that was by Lucas. Yeah, if in Delaney's not going to be out of front, someone like Anthony the Combo, the, the size difference just way too much. Webster. You see if you might want to take on the MVP. No, decides to get it off. Here's Corey. Corey's going to let it fly from deep in rhythm, but can't get it. Tries to save it. Abercrombie comes down with it. He's going to fight through, though. See if he can get it out. And it's going to go out of bounds. And a great heads up play there by the team captain. Yeah, very, very smart play. He was locked in place. You take a look at the replay there. Just a beautiful find by Slukas. That's been his calling card throughout this opening round. So we got a substitution. For two, back into the game here for New Zealand. This is what Coach Polinari has been waiting for. Right back to four. And that's what they've needed from him. It's really sad that he hasn't been able to be a bigger part of this game because of foul trouble. He's on three fouls. That should last him to the end of the game now. He should be fresh as well. He's only played 10 minutes. Isaac for two, off the screen. He's coming right back now. Great close out there. Forces Prentessis to think about it. And as a result, New Zealand gets the ball. You feel there's so much more rim protection when Fotu's in the game. Webster kicks it back out. Fotu kicks it over. Delan excuse me, Illy. Kicks it over. Oh, what a find on the inside. Tom Abercrombie with the throw down. Yeah, he floats up high and throws it down hard. And that's forced the Greeks into a timeout. They feel a momentum change, and we feel it here in the arena as well as Illy with a little fake, the step back, and wonderful pass to the slashing Abercrombie for the dunk. Quite a few toolback fans in the crowd and they're enjoying that one. Let's listen to the Greek timing. Papapetru, it is indeed winning time for him. Four of six from behind the arc. One of the better shooting performances we've seen all tournament. There's Lucas bringing it up, and Fatou kind of closing in on him. It looks like they're almost playing a 1 3 1 zone. They did this in the qualifiers, and it really puts other teams off. They've got to get corner shooters. That's what they need. That's the key. Giannis up and in, just rims out. A rare miss from that distance for Giannis. Illy, Lowe for three. What a shot, Rob Lowe! And 
now they're within five, and it's five and a half minutes to play. New Zealand are in the ascendancy, that's for sure. And if, if players like Lowe can find that form and get their stroke going from distance, that's that's going to be a tough one for the Greeks to stop. No quit. Up and Nicolau. Beautiful ball movement, but for two comes down with it. And New Zealand, are they going to go off and running now? Here's Illy. Can imagine, you knew it was coming. Up and in and under. Can't get the finish, though. And Slukas. Low gets away with one there. Giannis up and in. They're going to call the foul. And one. Giannis Antetokounmpo in MVP form tonight. That's a big play by Antetokounmpo. He stayed with it all the way. Took the contact. Kept his eyes firmly fixed on the prize. And the prize was two points in the trip to the line. Rob Lowe just on the back foot. Really no chance of uh, being involved defensively on that one. Rob Lowe, though. you got to have a... You gotta have a certain medal in you to be able to step up and knock down a shot like that with five minutes to go in the game and your team down. They need those buckets. And despite the fact that he he gave up this foul, he's gotta stay confident. MVP chance now. The two with his fourth personal, but they're gonna keep him in. I don't really believe they have a choice at this point. No, this is uh, it's an all-in situation if you're playing poker. This is all your chips on the table and you are pushing everything in. This is a chance of getting to the second round of the World Cup for New Zealand. Webster. Oh, inside to Fatou. Up, under. Isaac Fatou. It's just, and this is what makes it such a great play for him. It's almost mechanical now. His brain knows exactly what it's doing and just repeats the same movement over and over again. It's pure genius. It over. Slukas gets it back. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Works off the screen from Giannis. Goes up and in. Just rims out. How costly can that be? That could cost them a lot. Here's Webster. Gets the ball back, and he's going to get hacked by Kalathis. But it's only uh, that's Kalathis's uh, third personal, I believe. Or Interesting at the moment, Corey Webster not having it all his own way. And uh, he's been so critical, obviously, he hasn't scored in this final quarter. He's on 26 points personal, 21 of those in the first half. So if he starts warming up as well, then the Greeks are uh, in some trouble. Webster. Webster, crossover. Up, in, can't finish. And there's going to be a foul on Rob Lowe. That's his third personal. We've seen that a couple of times now, Mark. They're getting to the basket, but they're not finishing. Yeah, it's, it's frustrating because they're doing all the hard work. They're doing yeah. the difficult bit. You know, the crossover to shake your defender. That's the high piece of skill. It's not the lane at the end. That should be the easy formality, and they're just not quite converting them at the moment. Kalathis with Webster all over him. Brings it right up to the center court. Tries to work off the screen. Kalathis inside. That's and a small foul. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see even earlier, Webster was uh, grabbing on to Giannis. Just holding on for dear life as Giannis was trying to get himself inside. No, if he hadn't fouled him there, he would have uh, probably ended up with a Nike tick and printed on his forehead as he uh, gets dunked on. Especially when you consider that Fatou can't afford to really challenge Giannis that deep into the post. Not right now. They are going to need his offensive touch at the other end. Kalathis. They're going to eat up some clock here. 3.37 to go in this game. Kalathis, six seconds on the shot clock. Loses his defender. And that's what big-time players do in big-time situations, Mark. And that's a guy who's done everything in European basketball. He'll take the pressure on his shoulders. He doesn't feel the pressure in these situations. Webster in and a foul. And Corey Webster. You, you, you want to say fearless, but at this point, when you've been playing the way that Corey Webster has, that almost is kind of par for the course. Yeah, it's not It's not to do with fear at all. It's just he knows he's got the better of anyone on the floor at the moment, including Antetokounmpo. For two. And the foul on Thanasis, and they're going to call the shot. These are going to be some huge foul shots here with 318 remaining. New Zealand, they're going to have to start going on that run soon. Yeah, they, as long as they keep 
chipping away like this from the line, the clock's not running, they're scoring points, then that's really helpful. Um, but they do need to start getting some stops. The defensive end needs to start stepping up. Because this is going to always be the problem in New Zealand. They're going to try and outscore you. But if you let a team score what's well, probably going to be near 100 points by the end of this game, it's tough to win any game when the team you're playing against is scoring 100 points. The two does good on the first, though. Knocks down the second. Two huge free throws for New Zealand. Put them back within two possessions once more. Can they get the stop now, though? That is the great question. Kalathis works off the screen. Goes up and under to Giannis. And they're going to call the foul there. And, and, and Webster, really no choice, had to grab him. Fourth personal for him. And as much as you wouldn't want to see him get into foul trouble like this, you know, this New Zealand team has been hanging tough even without his offensive assistance here in this uh, in the second half. Yeah, you feel, though, that they're a little bit fingernails on the edge of the cliff now, that that's what they're holding on by. You're starting to see Greece be really clinical on the offensive end. They're being patient. They're taking their time to find the right positions, the right plays. And, you know, another example here, once Antetokounmpo gets the ball that low, it's either two points or he's going to the line. Giannis makes good on the first, 88-81, 3.03 to go here in this game. Winner moves on to the next round, loser playing for placement in this tournament. Makes good on the second, too. 89-81. Corey Webster. Does he have anything left in the tank here? Gets it over to his brother. Ty is going to drive right in. Oh, what a move that was. Wonderful. Just shrugs Kalathis off. Just gives him a little nudge while they're going at full pace. And it's enough to put Kalathis off balance and give him enough space to get the lane. Kalathis kicks it out. Wide open is Slukas. No good. But a tip in. No one boxing out. Number 16. Costas Papa Nicolau with the tip in. Yeah, Corey Webster lost his assignment there. Needed to step across him. It's going to be a foul, but a foul to give. Kalathis is fourth. That could be a concern. Kalathis is a big piece of the puzzle for what the Greeks do. They got away with one there. Slukas, he's been, I mean, every shooter here for Greece has had that dagger mentality in this second half. The two, going to get the call. And now it's the penalty. And this is the key. This is what I'm talking about. What they want to do is keep trying to score without the clock ticking. It's almost like those points are worth more in some way. Dare I say it, I'd almost want to bring uh, Shea Illy into this now that you've got them in the penalty. Yeah, absolutely. He's the kind of player you could bring in. There he is, right on cue. <laughs> especially as someone like Corey Webster's not performing well offensively at the moment. He's struggling. Yeah. He's not getting the space because they're oversizing him. They're putting Papa Nicolau on him. So he's not getting that shot away. Yep. And you can see, though, Webster uh, not sitting on the bench. He's sitting uh, close by. You can imagine maybe a quick substitution would be in order. I tell you what they're doing. They're going to try and play one in, one in. So they're going to try and have Corey Webster only play offense now. They'll sub him in and out every time because they know he can't give his foul up. So he's not going to be able to play tough defense, whereas someone like Shea Illy can chase and chase and chase. Two, two personal fouls for Shea Illy. Expect a very physical final two minutes and 30 seconds in this game. The two, I mean, he's just been clutch. Clutch when they've needed him. Yeah, and it's down to seven points now, two and a half minutes. We couldn't get it more closely balanced. And there's Illy. The agitator, ever the agitator, gets pushed off there. Illy cuts in. But Nick Kalathis, he's just been doing this for too long. Just ice cold. Literally anti-freeze running through those veins. Webster, spin move, up, under, gets the foul, going to the line. Needs to convert that kind of play, though. That's how you get yourself back into a game like this. You need to go for the end one. Never fails. The Tall Blacks fighting right to the end here. That's, that's Slukas on four. So now both their point guards, Kalathis and Slukas, are on four. That would start to concern me. If we did end up in an overtime situation, that's a that's a tough place for Greece to be. There's not many players that they want to bring the ball up. Maybe Papa Petru. Uh, it's, yeah, there's not a huge amount more options for them. Well, there is one guy that made a... Uh, that's consistently brought the ball up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's true. It's true. He could play point forward, but uh, you'd be interested to see who they put on him. You'd imagine they'd put someone like Shea Ely on him until he gets over the half and then swap up. Oh, 
the second effort. But Kalathis with it. That could be costly for two, just getting knocked to the uh, the floor there. Kalathis, the Greek fans chanting in the background. They can feel it. They want that second round. Anything less would be disappointment. Kalathis misses. Out of bounds, Tall Blacks. Anything less would be devastation, it wouldn't be disappointment. They know that in the Greek media, they would absolutely be slaughtered if they don't make it to the second round with the Vosta they've got at their disposal. Shea coming out, Corey Webster back in. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. Look, Illy's sitting on the end of the bench still for New Zealand. They're literally going to try and play Illy on defense and Corey Webster on offense. But you know what? When you've got a team with this kind of cohesion and chemistry and a, and a coach who knows his players like this, everyone believes in the plan. Webster, no good. Abercrombie thought he had a put-back dunk, and Lowe's going to get called for yet another foul. And that is going to be his fourth. else to do and Smith Milner can't believe it's mouthing the words that's weak <laughs> <laughs> well, weak or not they're gonna call it at this stage of the game expect you know the rules to be stuck to perfectly and really tightly it's uh, so much at stake so much at stake for both these teams this look is good on the first free throw you feel, though, that it's slipping away from New Zealand now. Double-digit lead, 11 points for, for Greece, and only 93 seconds to play. It's a big ask for any team to come back into it. Four-possession game, and you said it, with 1.33 to go. At this point, Corey Webster is just going to need to start chucking. Someone needs to start chucking. Ty, up and in. They're going to give that to him. Giannis makes the wise decision, it seems. And now they're going to apply a little bit of pressure, not too much though, because they don't want to get just turned over. Kalathis to Giannis. Giannis has low on him. I have a feeling this might be Rob Lowe's fifth foul coming. Fix it over. Kalathis gets it back to Giannis. One more time to his brother, Thanasis. Misses the shot. One minute remaining. Low. Thinks about it, gets by Antetokounmpo, loses a handle and a tough turnover there, and they're hard pressed now. Kalathis, yeah, if Greece managed the ball well now and the time well, Giannis going to get fouled, and Rob Lowe is out of the game. A disappointing finish for him, but man, did he battle! Uh, he's put it all out there. He's been an absolute warrior for New Zealand tonight. Not his usual offensive display you'd expect. He uh, fouls out with only five points, but he's got six boards, three assists. And he's put a, a fair shift in 27 minutes, usually against that man there, Antetokounmpo, which uh, is a bit of a, a challenge for anyone to keep up with him for 27 minutes. Rob Lowe has got one of those kind of nights. He's had one of those kind of nights where you're not going to see it on the stat sheet, but I guarantee you, if he didn't already have immense amount of respect from his teammates he's gonna have even more from not only his teammates but for the fans that are in attendance tonight and the fans watching home back in New Zealand I mean how could you not the effort this whole team has put together Not a single NBA player on the roster going tip for tat with a team that's had an immense amount of experience in both EuroLeague and in the NBA but what this tells me about the New Zealand system, and obviously an awful lot of them play for New Zealand breaks in the Australian NBL, it just tells you how strong that league is now. They, uh, it's been so quick, the revolution in Australian basketball, and, and how they've developed one of the top leagues in the world. And it's, the proof is in the pudding. You look at the players that they're producing now, you look at the New Zealand national team on the floor, and that's a product of that structure. MVP's chance are still ringing out here as uh, Giannis a little bit strong on the first. I think uh, some of the uh, some of our media friends from Greece here can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. <laughs> yeah, they've been a little bit tense all day, so uh, if they can close this result out like it looks like they're going to, then uh, yeah, there might be some happy Greeks around Nan Nanjing later today. 11-point lead, and they uh, are going to have a uh, New Zealand timeout here. And we'll see what they can try and draw up for the final uh, seconds of this game.
five on a mate. All right. Uh, on a miss, look for traps over half, and then we go to shark mode. All right. Let's go runway here. Whoever Giannis is guarding. Oh, see you. You're there. Stay there. All right. So if it's still here, you're over there. Tommy, you're our five. All right. Rory here. Uh, let's go show you tie here. All right. Bang, split. Downhill. On this catch here. Look for this punch. Continue to get downhill at the rim. Otherwise, we got to shut down. All right, 55 on the mic. 55 on the mic, yeah? All right, fellas. Here we go, here we go. And Kalathis really has been key to Greece this evening. Again, not huge numbers, 14 points, four boards, five assists, 26 minutes of play, but he really does control the rhythm for Greece. And, and you know, time management in points like this of the game have been really crucial for what Greece have done here today. They've slowed it down when they've needed to, they've sped the game up when they needed to, and that's put them in a position and they're now up by 11 with 46.4 to go. Take a look at the inbound here. Illy gets it over to Webster. Up and under, just can't get the finish. Goes off a leg, though, and Illy comes back with it, still fighting with it, and they're going to call the foul on... Just to wait and see who it is. I think it will be on Lauren Zakis. Yes. Just his first personal, however. Yeah, he's only played nine minutes in this game. He's one of those players that just uh, comes in and provides some hustle off the bench for Greece. Coach Polinari saying, yeah, five. It was number five, right? <laughs> Eight points for Illy. He's been perfect from the line so far. 39.2 seconds. I mean, it's not, it's improbable, but it's not impossible. Board there by Thanasis. Oh, Webster comes up with it. And they're going to call a foul. Yeah, Thanasis, Anton Kumpo is frustrated by that call. But I think it's more the frustration play where he's lost possession and got to fly back for it over the top. And that's going to be two shots on the line again. A chance to score some points without the clock moving. Oh, that looks like a tough call. Not a huge amount of contact, although he did jump into him. Just saying there was plenty of contact on the left arm, but it was the non-shooting hand. Yeah. Right? And, uh, you know, this is exactly what you want, though. Buckets without moving the clock. It, yeah, you, you couldn't ask for more right now. This is the lifeline that New Zealand want. Of course, uh, Thanasis now has four personal fouls. Joseph makes good. Give him 27 on the night. 28, excuse me. Pick out Lauren Zakis. And a necessary foul there by Webster. 29.1 seconds. And we're having a conversation now. Well, it looks like there's a little bit of uh, argy-bargy between Illy and Kalapis. I think Slukas was involved as well. It's not what you need to see at this point in the game. It's all been perfectly controlled. Coach Hanare needs to be really careful. Yeah, Hanare came all the way to the end there. Yeah, he needs to be really careful. He's going to get himself a technical foul, but he had a point to, to make with the officials. He's obviously seen something he's not happy with at all. I think he was saying it's something that Laren Zakis did. He was saying number five, number five. I wonder if the officials will go to review on this. You can see, though, there had already been a little bit of, sh uh, not, not necessarily shoving, but uh, some physical play in the other end with Laren Zakis picking up that foul in the previous uh, set. Uh, Coach Scortopoulos wanted a tech on uh, Coach Hanare for uh, leaving his uh, post, so to speak. Yeah, I, you couldn't imagine that Coach Hanare would do that unless he really had something that he'd seen that he wouldn't let the officials let, let lie, so... You know, in a, sure. game, in a game like this, with so much at stake, yeah, as you said, Hanare is not the type of coach that is going to do something like that. A very calculated, very calm demeanor, for the most part, <laughs> there are times. Don't get me wrong. Like any other coach, he'll get he'll get animated, but uh, it's really not his mo. Yeah, I think they are going to review this as well. So one of the new inventions for this World Cup is the referee review. You guys get to listen into them. So 
Enjoy. Okay. There's nothing, nothing here. Nine. Okay. White, white, black, five, nine. Okay. 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 In flat five, white ten, and head coach. Head coach should be out. Head it's coach should be out. The coach? Yes. Okay. To the, to well, let's talk. Okay. Let's talk in the in the middle. Okay. The, the coach can can be. So it looks like at the moment the officials are just finalizing their reviews, but from what we heard, you may have heard it different. They're potentially looking at ejecting Coach Hanare for New Zealand for entering the floor. Not too sure what the scuffle was really about. Even the uh, video replay didn't clarify it hugely. We'll have to wait to see what the officials say. The fate of that man uh, hangs in the balance. I got a technical foul on Black Five. I got a technical foul for a coach on black. Looks like Coach Hanare is claiming that Laren Zakis actually punched Corey Webster in the back of the head, but we couldn't see it from the video replays. Coach Skortopoulos was pleading his case. But there's a, yeah, Coach Inari saying he, he hit him, but. Even with all the video reviews in the world, sometimes still tough to decipher exactly what happened. Cooler heads prevailing here, but Coach Inari has not been asked to leave yet. So no, I think it's just a straight technical. I don't think yeah. it's a second technical, so he's fine. But I think it was two technicals for New Zealand, so I, I think it might be four free, four free throws for Greece. Oh, and Sluk has picked one up as well. And he's been sad. Oh, now they're queuing just one technical. The Sluk has technical cancelled out, one of the uh, New Zealand ones. So now Laren Zakis will just have his two free throws. a few more brief words before we get back to the action. Of course, always be sure to uh, check out and download the uh, FIBA World Cup app so you can see both action like this and maybe relive the highlights yourself after a very exciting game and first round here in Nanjing, China. That's always, of course, available on the Apple iTunes Store and also available on Google Play. As uh, Lauren Zakis Makes good on the first free throw, making it an 11-point game with 29.1 seconds left. 12 points, and New Zealand's just going to go off and running. And Illy comes up with it. Webster for three. What a shot! Corey Webster! He will not lie down. He will not give up. Corey Webster's going to take this one as far as he possibly can. They got a foul. Oh. They got a foul. There we go. They almost came away with one there when Papa Nikolaou threw it up in the air, and you know you, you'd hoped if you're if you're a tall Blacks fan, one of them, one of the players from New Zealand would have noticed. 
but I think they were expecting a whistle and it never came. Yeah, it's tough. And Laren Zakis back at the line and he's just gone three from three, so not the player you want to keep sending him back. New Zealand fans can thank me later. <laughs> I'm available to jinx anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It goes again. Not going to pick it up. Nice find there. Webster kicks it over. Corey shoots it. Misses it that time. Goes out of bounds. Illy kicks it over. Abercrombie for three. Knocks it down again. Tom Abercrombie. This team does not want to die. Foul him. There it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Mark. Yeah, New Zealand will not give up. They absolutely will not give up. 5.1 seconds to play. They're still down by six. It's uh, It would be Herculean if they came back into this one. Two possession game. I mean, how many time else they got? Oh, it's they got, they it's got three. A, it's likely to be a three possession game, though, in a minute. That's tough. That's tough to come back from that. I think this, these free throws might be the nail, final nails in the coffin of uh, New Zealand at the World Cup this year. Yeah, no jinx this time. And the first time in five outings at the World Cup that they're not going to make it through the first group stage. Here's Webster. He's going to just drive straight into the basket with 0.8 seconds to go. And much to the, uh, the cheering and love and adoration shown by these fans, what a game that was to watch, Mark. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Entertaining from the opening tip to the final buzzer. A physical encounter with plenty of respect. Great World Cup basketball. Every single one of the 24 players that have played today can hold their heads up high. They've uh, put in a shift and they've certainly put on a show for the fans here in Nanjing. Um, and it was 40 minutes of pure action for us and so many highlight plays throughout it. I, I mean, I think, you know, walking away from this situation in uh, New Zealand, they have to be holding their heads high. What an effort. I'm sure it was a bit disappointing considering the success that they've had in the recent past as we get a look at the Greek fans, or excuse me, the Greek players saluting the Greek fans in attendance, as can be also said for uh, the uh, tall blacks, the Kiwis, showing a lot of love to the uh, the fans standing out in the, uh, the back corner there with their huge New Zealand flag and their huge signs that says New Zealand is cool. And yeah, uh, I, I think we'd all ag agree with that. Yeah, I couldn't agree more <laughs> with that as we take a look at the uh, the stats here. Uh, Mark, some uh, some thoughts, some closing thoughts on, on this game. I mean, Well, it kind of went to the way a lot of people expected. It went to the form, but most people were predicting Greece to take the win. But we were also predicting that it was going to be a close physical encounter. And that's exactly what they delivered us. So there's no complaints from anyone here whatsoever. Corey Webster, 31 points for New Zealand. He has had a phenomenal World Cup, and he has increased his value on the open market considerably. Great, great play from him today. And then on the Greek side, it was the awakening of Giannis Antetokounmpo. His, his first big game, the first game where he truly showed everything he has to offer the sport. 24 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists in 30 minutes of action. But for him, I imagine, he's just happy that they're through to the second round. Greece will now make their way to Shenzhen, where they'll face the USA and the Czech Republic in the second round. And then for Montenegro, they'll go into the, uh, sorry, for New Zealand, they'll go into the classification games. And they'll move down to Dongguan, where they'll face Japan and Turkey. Now remember, for New Zealand and Montenegro, they're not, it's not over now. They've still got a chance of making it to Tokyo 2020. So there's still a big prize available for them as well. Absolutely, and you know, I, I have to say, you know, just for the sake of all these fans in Nanjing that have, that have been coming here for a full hour before the games, and I mean thousands of them, the entire lower bowl was full of fans each game that Greece has been playing, and really, it, it, it really just feels like a, a true reward for their for their passion and their patience and their love of this game, and also for Giannis Antetokounmpo, an opportunity to see him in their city. They don't know when he's ever going to come back. Oh, absolutely, if ever, and the great thing you've got is I don't think there's any players that would have a word against Nanjing now. 
I no. think they've come and experienced a wonderful city with wonderful people who have enriched this first round group stage. They have been so positive and so behind all four of the teams they as have. well. Oh my goodness. I mean, just I've never seen a crowd that's just so supportive of good basketball. When you, when any good play that they saw, anything that they had created, it was incredible. As you can see, Giannis, for maybe maybe one the first time I've seen him all opening round acknowledging the fans and that's no shot at him it's really just you can see how focused he's been this entire tournament to try and get Greece to the next round but now that you've seen him get that sigh of relief in a sense you can finally see him appreciate all the love and adoration that he's been getting this yeah, whole week. Yeah absolutely I think they'll be grateful that they've got through this group I think it was a lot tougher than they expected it to be yeah. they found their opening game against Montenegro reasonably easy they seem to close that one by the half then they obviously lost the shot game in game day two against Brazil and then they've been run ragged and pushed to the wire today against New Zealand they'll be very grateful to be through to the second round of New Zealand all eyes for them goes on the uh, the Olympics now that's the big prize for them an incredible day of basketball an incredible week of basketball here in the opening round so impressive all the work we've seen and those are your final standings for group F Brazil and Greece move on, six points and five points apiece. New Zealand and Montenegro still fighting for that berth to Tokyo 2020. And uh, for all of our production staff here, and for uh, my partner as well, uh, Mark Mills, my name's Ryan Greco as we, uh, we take a final look. Thank you. Okay. Nippon.
Καλησπέρα σε όλου. Η Εθνική έκανε το καθήκον τη, πήρε το αποτέλεσμα που ήθελε και με δύο νίκε μία ήττα είναι στι 16 καλύτερε ομάδε του παγκοσμίου κυπέλου. Απέφυγε την άγονη γραμμή. Πάει σε Ζεν α, αύριο ξημερώματα και Σάββατο βράδυ παίζει με του Αμερικανού. Δευτέρα α, βράδυ παίζει με του Τσέχου. Έχουμε μαζί μα έναν από του πρώτου κόρε τη ε, ε, σημερινή αναμέτρηση για την Εθνική μα, τον Ιωάννη Παπαπέτρου. Ιωάννη, α, συγχαρητήρια. Η πρόκληση είναι πολύ σημαντικό κέρδο από τη στιγμή που βρεθήκαμε κατά κάποιο τρόπο με την πλάτη στον τοίχο απογοητευμένη μετά το αποτέλεσμα, με τον τρόπο που ήρθε μάλιστα η ήττα στον αγώνα με την Βραζιλία, έτσι. Σίγουρα ήταν ένα μάτι δίχω αύριο. Ε, και να κερδίσαμε τη Βραζιλία πάλι θα ήταν ένα μάτι δίχω αύριο. Αν χάναμε σήμερα, νομίζω δεν προκρινόμασταν, αν δεν κάνω λάθο. Οπότε ε, η Νέα Ζηλανδία είναι μια αξιόμαχη ομάδα. Είδαμε ότι παίξανε πάρα πολύ καλό μπάσκετ, ε, μεγάλη ευστοχία. Όλοι οι παίχτε σουτάρουν πάρα πολύ επικίνδυνο στυλ παιχνιδιού. Ε, κατά τα ψέματα είχαμε μια πίεση, είχαμε ένα βάρο στην πλάτη μα. Ε, νομίζω ότι το δημιουργούμε λίγο και μόνιμα στου εαυτού μα. Ε, αλλά καταφέραμε να πάρουμε το αποτέλεσμα και να περάσουμε στην επόμενη φάση. Και αυτό είναι αυτό που θέλαμε να κάνουμε από την αρχή. Πώ βιώσατε την επόμενη μέρα τη ήττα από του Βραζιλιάνου, Πόσε ώρε κοιμηθήκατε εκείνο το βράδυ καταρχά και πότε συνειδητοποίησατε. Πόσο σημαντικό είναι το σημερινό παιχνίδι και πόσο σημαντικό ήταν και εκείνο το παιχνίδι για τη συνέχεια. Στον αθλητισμό υπάρχουν και μεγάλε χαρέ και μεγάλε λύπε. Το ξέρουμε όλοι αυτό, ειδικά παίχτε που παίζουμε λίγα πιο πολλά χρόνια. Ε, ήταν δύσκολο το βράδυ μετά την Βραζιλία. Καθίσαμε, αναλύσαμε τα πάντα, συζητήσαμε όλοι μαζί, αναλύσαμε, ξαναλύσαμε. Εντάξει, δεν μπορεί να μείνει όμω αυτό. Ήταν μια ήττα που μα πόνεσε σίγουρα και με τον τρόπο που ήρθε. Ε, αλλά έπρεπε να σηκώσουμε το κεφάλι, να συνεχίσουμε. Δουλέψαμε, προετοιμαστήκαμε, πήραμε την νίκη σήμερα, αυτό είναι που κρατάμε. Σήμερα το πλάνο ήταν χαμηλά σχήματα ε, και κυρίως ε, επίθεση για να κερδίσουμε το μάτς. Εκεί ήταν ο προσανατολισμός. Αυτή ήταν η τακτική και η στρατηγική. Νομίζω αλλάξαμε λίγο το φόκους μας στο παιχνίδι σε σχέση με το προηγούμενο παιχνίδι με τη Βραζιλία. Ε, ο Γιάννη ήταν πιο κεντρικό στόχο σήμερα, ε, είτε σκόραρε είτε δημιουργούσε και όλοι παίξαμε λίγο... Ε, να το πω έτσι μακριά από το Γιάννη και έτοιμοι για να πάρουμε ό,τι βρεθεί στην επίθεση όσον αφορά Πώς την άμυνα. δηλαδή περισσότερους χώρους, περισσότερους Νομίζω... διαδρόμους να παίξει αυτός και αν επιλέξει γιατί θα κλείσει η άμυνα πάνω του, να πασάρει σε κάποιον ελεύθερο. Νομίζω ανοίξαμε το γήπεδο, προσπαθήσαμε να δώσουμε πιο πολύ χώρο και ξέρουμε ακριβώ ποια είναι τα δυνατά του σημεία και προσπαθούμε να παίξουμε υπόλοιποι στα δυνατά σημεία του Γιάννη, να του ανοίξουμε λίγο το χώρο και το παιχνίδι, γιατί όλε οι άμυνε κλείνουν πάνω του. Όσον αφορά την άμυνα, ε, σίγουρα πρέπει να παίξουμε λίγο πιο ευέλικτα όταν η αντίπαλη ομάδα έχει πέντε παίχτε που σουτάρουν. Ε, είναι λογικό τα πιο βαριά κορμιά να μην μπορούν να ακολουθήσουν αυτό το παιχνίδι. Ε, Παρ' όλα αυτά νομίζω ότι ποιο μπήκε εδώ τα πάντα. Και πήραμε την πρόκληση και πρέπει να είμαστε όλοι έτοιμοι για το επόμενο παιχνίδι, γιατί κάθε παιχνίδι είναι διαφορετικό. Οι 103 που βάλαμε είναι πολλοί, αλλά πολλοί είναι και οι 97 που σκοράραν οι Νέο Ζηλανδοί, έτσι. Νομίζω ότι σκοράραν σε πολύ μεγάλο ποσοστό, δεν είμαι σίγουρο. 93 και 94 είχαν στα δύο προηγούμενα. Ε, εντάξει, είναι αυτό το παιχνίδι του. Ε, μπορούσαμε να κάνουμε μεγαλύτερη δουλειά, να κλείσουμε μερικά τρίποντα, βάλανε και μερικά δύσκολα. Σουτάρουν όλοι οι παίχτε. Είναι πολύ δύσκολο παιχνίδι αυτό ε, όταν όλοι οι παίχτε σουτάρουν τρίποντο. Ε, εντάξει, δεχτήκαμε μερικά καλάθια. Το σημαντικό που ξαναλέω είναι η πρόκληση. Η πρόκληση είναι πρόκληση, το λέμε για μια ακόμη φορά, αλλά τώρα μπροστά μα έχουμε Αμερική και Τσεχία. Την Τσεχία ίσω να μην την περίμεναν οι περισσότεροι, πέταξε έξω ε, την, ε, την Τουρκία σήμερα. Λοιπόν, τι λέμε καταρχά για τον αγώνα με τι ΗΠΑ. Κοιτάμε μόνο τον αγώνα με τι ΗΠΑ. Είναι μεγάλη πρόκληση για μα. Κακά τα ψέματα, είναι ένα παιχνίδι το οποίο όλοι οι παίχτε ονειρεύονται να παίξουν. Παίζει αντίπαλου παίχτε που είναι όλοι NBA, παίχτε που. Ε, Νομίζω ότι είναι αφαβορία από την αρχή του τουρνουά. Ε, πρέπει να συγκεντρωθούμε, να ετοιμαστούμε. Δεν έχουμε πετύχει κάτι ακόμα. Σίγουρα θέλαμε αυτή την πρόκληση και την καταφέραμε, αλλά η συνέχεια τώρα είναι πιο σημαντική και πρέπει να είμαστε πάρα πολύ συγκεντρωμένοι όλοι ε, για ακόμα ένα πάρα πολύ δύσκολο παιχνίδι. Ε, έχετε ρίξει καμιά κλεφτή ματιά στην αναμέτρηση τη Τουρκία με την Αμερική. Έχετε δει καθόλου πώ κινδύνευσαν σε εκείνο το παιχνίδι. Γιατί έχουν να χάσουν σε επίσημο, δεν λέω για το φιλικό με την Αυστραλία. Σε επίσημο παιχνίδι από τη Σαϊτάμα, από εμά. Κανεί δεν είναι αίτητο και άτροτο. Σίγουρα έχουν αδύνατα σημεία από όλε οι ομάδε. Σίγουρα είναι μια πάρα πολύ καλή ομάδα όμω. Δεν του υποτιμάμε, του υπερεκτιμάμε και πρέπει να επικεντρωθούμε λίγο σε εμά για το τι πρέπει να κάνουμε εμεί καλά. Να μην ρωτήσω για την Τσεχία, προφανώ και δεν έχετε διαγωνά τη. Όχι, προφανώ είναι πολύ μακριά αυτό. Επικεντρωνόμαστε στην Αμερική να κάνουμε καλό παιχνίδι εκεί πέρα και να πάρουμε την νίκη γιατί 
Ε, με αυτό είναι το πιο σημαντικό για να μην μπορούμε να, να κρατάμε τύχη στα χέρια μα. Να μην περιμένουμε πολύ. αποτελέσματα. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, Ιωάννη. Συγχαρητήρια και πάλι. Και θα έρθει και ο προπονητή τη ελληνική μα ομάδα, ο κ. Θανάη Κουτόπουλο. Κόουτ, συγχαρητήρια για την πρόκληση. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ε, σήμερα το πλάνο ήταν ε, επίθεση και γρήγορο ναι. παιχνίδι με περισσότερε κατοχέ για τον Γιάννη. Ναι, σίγουρα. Ε, ξεκινήσαμε από την άμυνα που είχαμε στήσει με αλλαγέ και νομίζω ήταν αρκετά καλή αντιμετώπιση. Μόνο όταν ανεβάζαμε το σκορ χαλαρώναμε κακώ, αλλά. Γενικά λειτουργήσε. Από εκεί και πέρα στην επίθεση είχαμε πει δυναμική κίνηση προ το καλάθι. Είναι μια ομάδα που πολλε... αλλάζει πολλέ άμυνε. Είναι μια ομάδα που κάνει τρει μήνε προετοιμασία, έχει ετοιμάσει πάρα πολλά πράγματα. Και αυτό που ήταν το αδύνατο σημείο ήταν να κάνουμε επίθεση ένα εναντίον ενό σε πολλά και διαφορετικά πόστα. Ε, γι' αυτό το λόγο και κερδίσαμε φάουλ πάνω στο φωτού και αναγκάστηκε να τραβήξει του δύο ψηλού έξω, να έχει ένα small ball σχήμα. Είχε από νωρί τρία και τέσσερα ναι, ναι, Το οποίο εμά μα βόλεψε και εντάξει, μετά με μια καλή διαχείριση νομίζω ότι βρίσκαμε τι λύσει. Και φτάσαμε σε ένα πολύ ψηλό σκορ. Κότσο, το επιθετικό πλάνο ομολογουμένω ήταν τέλειο. 103 πόντου είναι πάρα πολύ, αλλά πολύ είναι και 97, έτσι. Ναι, είναι πάρα, ναι, είναι πάρα πολύ και είναι καθαρά ο λόγο αυτό που είπα. Ότι μόλι ανεβάζουμε το σκορ 10-12 πόντου, χαλαρώνουμε πίσω. Ε, κάπου αφήνουμε περιθώρια και στον αντίπαλο να λειτουργήσει, ενώ δεν θα έπρεπε. Γιατί από δυνάμει είμαστε πάρα πολύ καλά, σε εξαιρετική κατάσταση. Ε, τα σχήματα αυτά μπορούσαν να κάνουν τι αλλαγέ επιθετικά, όπω είχαμε πει, και όχι απλά αλλαγή. Γιατί η ομάδα αυτή είναι πάρα πολύ επικίνδυνη και με το τρίποντο ζει και πεθαίνει. Ε, δεν θα σε σκοτώσει ποτέ από τα δίποντα, ούτε από τα ρόλιν, ούτε από τα πόστ, ούτε από το ένα-ένα, αλλά από το τρίποντο μπορεί να κάνει μεγάλε ζημίε. Γιατί παίζει αυτή τη στιγμή, δηλαδή, έχουμε 7 παιχνίδια που έχουμε δει, είναι και τα 7 παιχνίδια από 88 μέχρι 102 πόντου. Εντάξει, αυτό τα λέει όλα. Εδώ η Εθνική σήμερα σε αυτό το μάτσο έκανε το καθήκον τη. Ναι. Είναι στι 16 καλύτερε ομάδε. Σήμερα δοκίμασε πολλά χαμηλά σχήματα. Ναι. Πολλά small ball, γιατί τέριαζε. Ναι. Αυτό, το, αυτό το στυλ παιχνιδιού με το παιχνίδι της Νέας Ζηλανδίας. Πάμε όμως την επόμενη μέρα. Πλέον Αμερική το Σάββατο το βράδυ και ναι. Τσεχία που πέταξε έξω την ναι, Τουρκία ναι. τη Δευτέρα. Εντάξει, βλέπουμε ότι όποιος δεν προσέχει, αυτό που είχαμε πει την άλλη φορά, το κλείστημα για πλάκα είναι πάρα πολύ κοντά. Λοιπόν, ε, εμεί τώρα έχουμε να ετοιμάσουμε το παιχνίδι για. Καταρχά, έχουμε μια δύσκολη μετακίνηση να τελειώσει αυτό αύριο και να ετοιμάσουμε το παιχνίδι για την Αμερική. Ε, Εντάξει, θα πάμε λίγο διαφορετικά. Σίγουρα θα χρησιμοποιήσουμε κάποιε μορφέ άμυνα πέρα από το men to men. Αλλά... Να βάλαμε κάποια στιγμή και λίγο ζων press και ναι, πίεση στα ναι, τέσσερα ναι, τέταρτα, ναι, 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 αλλά όχι εντάξει. για πολλά λεπτά. Όχι για πολλά, γιατί εντάξει, δεν χρειάστηκε κιόλα έτσι όπω πήγε. Είχαμε εύκολη λύση στην επίθεση γενικά. Δεν, δεν, δεν προβληματίστηκαμε ιδιαίτερα, ναι. Αλλά με του Αμερικάνου θα πάει διαφορετικά. Πρέπει να ελέγξουμε ακόμα καλύτερα το ρυθμό. Πρέπει να στήσουμε και ζώνε και ζών press ώστε να κόψουμε τελείω το ελεύθερο παιχνίδι. Και μέσα από αυτό να ξεκινήσουμε να φτιάξουμε το δικό μα παιχνίδι. Επειδή το έλεγα και με τον Ιωάννη Παπαπέτρου νωρίτερα, έχουν να χάσουν από τη Σαϊτάμα. Ναι. Ε, δεν, δεν υπολογίζω το φιλικό με Όχι, την Αυστραλία. Θα, θα είναι οδηγό η αναμέτρησή του με την Τουρκία, που έφτασε μια ανάσα και ναι, αυτοκτόνησε. Έχασε τέσσερι βολέ η Τουρκία. Σίγουρα, σίγουρα. Για να χάσει εκείνο το μάτσο. Νομίζω το έχουμε δει το παιχνίδι, όπω όλα τη Αμερική. Η Τουρκία έχει διαβάσει πάρα πολύ καλά το παιχνίδι. Χρησιμοποιήσει ζώνε πρέ και ζώνε προσαρμογή. Είναι μια πάρα πολύ καλή ιδέα γιατί τα παιδιά αυτά δεν έχουν. Ε, ε, Όπω ξέρουμε καλά στη regular season στην Αμερική δεν υπάρχει τέτοιο πράγμα, αλλά και στα, στα play-off είναι δύσκολο να συναντήσουν. Άρα μόνο τα παιδιά που έχουν ευρωπαϊκή εμπειρία μπορούν γρήγορα να προσαρμοστούν. Εμείς ε, μας βοηθάει κιόλα γιατί έχουμε έναν οδηγό πώς λειτουργήσαμε απέναντι στην Τουρκία και πάνω σε αυτό θα διαβάσουμε και θα προσπαθήσουμε να στήσουμε ακόμα καλύτερα την εικόνα αυτή. Πέρα από το μεγάλο κέρδος εννοείται της νίκης και της πρόκρισης σήμερα, ε, είσαι χαρούμενο και για το γεγονό ότι ξαναβρήκε ο, ο Γιάννη όχι μόνο τα πατήματά του, όχι μόνο το ρυθμό του, ξαναβρήκε τον καλό του εαυτό και στι δυο πλευρέ του γηπέδου. Έπαιξε πέντε για πολλή ώρα σήμερα. Ναι, εντάξει. Έβαλε, ε... Έχει κάνει ρεκόρ, ναι, ρεκόρ στην επίθεση ναι, σε παγκόσμιο κύπελο με την εθνική ομάδα. Εντάξει, κοίταξε τώρα. Ο Γιάννη. Ε, δε, δεν έχουμε να πούμε κάτι για τον Γιάννη. Προχτέ έγινε ένα βραχικύκλωμα. Ε, δεν, οφ, δεν οφείλεται στο Γιάννη αυτό κυρίω, έτσι. Θε να πούμε ότι ήταν από τον πάγκο, δεν υπήρχε καλή συνεννόηση. Θε να πούμε ότι κάποια παιδιά δεν διαβάσανε κάποια μισμάτια, κάποιε άλλε κάποιε δημιουργίε. Όλα δεκτά είναι. Από εκεί πέρα όμω ο Γιάννη είναι σημαντικό, αλλά σημαντική είναι και η υγεία του Γιάννη. Ένα θέμα που πρέπει παράλληλα με τη δουλειά που κάνουμε για να κερδίσουμε το παιχνίδι, να το έχουμε πάντα στο μυαλό μα και να το προσέχουμε. Γιατί αν αυτό διαταραχτεί, μπορεί ο Γιάννη να μην είναι στην ομάδα. Λοιπόν, άρα πρέπει να έχουμε πάντα υπόψη μα την κατάσταση αυτή, να συντηρούμε και να κερδίζουμε χρόνο, όχι ει βάρο ομάδα βέβαια προ Θεού, αλλά. Σήμερα
να κερδίσουμε τι μπάλε όταν πάνε δεύτερο και τρίτο παίκτη στην ομάδα. Σήμερα σε αυτό το κομμάτι με την έξτρα πάσα λειτουργήσαν πιο καλά, μπήκαν τα σουτ και μα βοήθησε να κρατήσουμε του ύλου σκορ. Άλλου τρει παίκτε με διψήφιο αριθμό πόντων και 40% στο τρίποντο. Ε. Ναι, γιατί τα, τα σουτ και προχτέ βγήκαν σε καλέ θέσει, όπω προχτέ χάσαμε τον αριθμό ρεκόρ 16 λεϊάπ. Εντάξει, από εκεί πέρα όμω αυτά μπορούν να γίνουν στο παιχνίδι. Προχωράμε. Τελειώνει σήμερα το κομμάτι τη Νατζίγκ εδώ και πάμε στη Σεντζέν για να ετοιμάσουμε ένα μικρό μήνυ του Νουά καινούριο. Και μια τελευταία ερώτηση, Κότσου. Ήταν έκπληξη για σένα η πρόκληση τη Τσεχία πρωτάρα σε παγκόσμιο κύπελο χωρί το Βέσελη. Ήταν έκπληξη γιατί θεωρώ την Τουρκία πολύ καλή ομάδα κατά πρώτον. Δεύτερον, όμω, βλέποντα το παιχνίδι Αμερική-Τσεχία στην αρχή, η Τσεχία ήταν σε πάρα πολύ καλή εικόνα και αν δεν υπήρχαν κάποια εμφανή σφυρίγματα. Σε κάποιο χρονικό σημείο του αγώνα που δώσαν έναν αέρα 13 και 14 πόντων για την Αμερική, πιστεύω και αυτό το παιχνίδι θα το είχε πάει πολύ καλά όπω η Τουρκία. Άρα, στην απευθεία περίπτωση που εμεί δεν νικήσουμε του Αμερικανού, ναι. ε, γιατί είναι πολύ δύσκολο να του κερδίσουμε, αυτή είναι η αλήθεια, η ομοίη πραγματικότητα. Ε, να ελπίζουμε όπω θα περιμέναμε ένα μεγάλο ντέρμπι και ανάμεσα στην Τσεχία και τη Βραζιλία, όπω θα περιμέναμε ναι. ένα ντέρμπι Τουρκία-Βραζιλία, ναι. γιατί ποντάρουμε ναι, ναι, σε δεύτερο σίγουρα, σενάριο, σίγουρα, σίγουρα. σε δεύτερο σκέλο και στην τριπλή ε, ισοβαθμία. Το Έχουμε πρόγραμμα, χάσει ναι. μόνο ένα μπόντο από τη Βραζιλία. Το πρόγραμμα δεν έχει οριστεί, αλλά επειδή οι Αμερικάνοι πάνε prime time συνήθω. Μάλλον θα παίξουμε δεύτερο Λάμε, και θα το θα ξέρουμε. Το δεύτερο. Οπότε θα ξέρουμε από πριν. Εγώ θεωρώ ότι θα ήταν ένα πολύ δυνατό και σκληρό παιχνίδι και από τι δύο ομάδε. Η, η ευκαιρία είναι τεράστια τώρα πλέον και για του Τσέχου και θα κοιτάξουν να το εκμεταλλευτούν. Ε, και εμεί θα ξέρουμε τα δεδομένα. Απ' την άλλη, εμεί αυτή τη στο μυαλό μα έχουμε να προσπαθήσουμε να κάνουμε τι δύο νίκε ώστε να φτιάξουμε τον δρόμο μα μόνοι μα, τα πατήματά μα. Αν το καταφέρουμε αυτό, θα είναι μια ακόμη επιτυχία και θα πάρουμε πίσω τα βαντάζ που χάσαμε από την ήττα με τη Βραζιλία. Με μεγάλες νίκες προχωράμε.